Still respect the women, he's the rolling, it's another. He just got the windows tinted. Homie stab me in the back and that can never be forgiven. And my pride's been itching, man. I like your superstition. Mm-hmm. Phone number, let's be running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Trying to low bump me, my cajon is still the big ass. When I get high, I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling like yeah. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like bra. When I get, when I get, when I get high. Let me meditate, then I celebrate. Trying to get the cake, I don't take a break. Mm, yeah, wait. Grew up in the 90s, we was watching Ricky Lake. We was eating top ramen, no TV dinner plate. Uh, made that couple dollars, so I probably get the steak. Go on out at John and Venice, I told Quinn and I be late. Ay, I'm so epidemic, I'm a cause an epidemic. Put my feet up in the building, feel it like a dinner. When I get high. I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like rock. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I see you, Michelle and Sonobi, talking smack, saying I'm pushing buttons. Technically, yes, I was, but still, we don't need to go there. Also, I forgot to turn on my music, so this holds on uno momento. Okay, uh, here we go. Okay, back here. Ooh, that was loud. <laughs> How is everyone doing? Okay, I'm trying to remember to, I have to look over here to look at the chat. So how is everyone doing? I see Sonovi's here, Daily Polish Me, Michelle, Alicia's here, Shannon's here. How is everyone doing? Happy Sunday. <laughs> how is everyone's week going? It's my, okay, it is on. How is everyone's week going or weekend, I guess? This weekend was a lot. <laughs> it was a lot. I was sick yesterday and... It was a battle finishing up yesterday's video. <laughs> yes, how dare you suggest I was looking at buttons and pushing buttons. Hey Lee, uh, but yeah. <laughs> I was trying to decide if I had wanted to make like the little me in the corner a smidge bigger, but I was just like, no. Also, you can, Stormy's not here. I don't know if she's gonna show up, but like the chair's there. I didn't set up a secondary camera because nobody wants to, none of the cats want to hang out with me today. Oh, thank you. Yeah. I'm feeling better today. Just like a, just a little bit of a headache today. Um, but yeah, yesterday I, it was one of those days where like everything was making me feel nauseous and I couldn't stop feeling nauseous. Uh, so yeah, like everything, like once I finished up the last of yesterday's video, I just went back to bed. <laughs> I, yeah, it was just a lot. Like, I, I don't, like, I, I know the reasoning why I was feeling nauseous. It was, you know, girl issues, if you will. But, oh my gosh, like, every, everything made me just want to vomit. And it was, I hated it. It was not fun. <laughs> yeah, I, I honestly think the reason why none of the cats want to hang out with me is because I haven't refilled the treat container yet. So, like, it's empty. And so every time Stormy... We had to change the treat container to one of those containers that's like a really sturdy one because Stormy, no matter where I put it, she would find it and then knock it over and all the treats would just scatter across the floor and then all the cats and then Sassy would just eat as many treats as they wanted all because Stormy kept knocking it over. So now it's in like a very sturdy container that even if she knocks it over, it can't open. Um, but she still continues to knock it over and then discovering it's empty, she's just been very irate. <laughs> <laughs> hey Noah is it Noah I, f I feel like I remember asking you N-O-A Noah A no A let me know if I'm saying that right or wrong I feel like I'm, I'm I think I'm saying it right but let me know if I'm wrong alrighty okay so it is okay we are not boycotting stormy Michelle I know you're a cat hater but we're not boycotting my baby hell to the no hell to the no um, so yeah, polish pickup. Do do I need to say what polish pickup is? Is anyone confused at what polish pickup is? <laughs> I feel like the people I'm seeing, I feel like I feel like you all know what polish pickup is. I guess just in case you don't know what polish pickup is, it's a monthly indie collaboration between a whole bunch of different indie brands. One website for a one weekend which starts for sale this Friday through the Monday 
whole bunch of limited edition stuff. It is, if you're into indie nail polish, polish pickup is a fantastic way to lose all of your money. Uh, and I look forward to it every single month. <laughs> oh, you're saying the cats are boycotting. Oh, okay. Because I was just like, hell no, not my stormy girl, not her. All right, I will fully admit I have been scrolling through. I looked at Cosmetic Sanctuary's blog post this morning. Um, I think I watched, I watched someone's, whose video? I watched, I watched at least one PPU video. I have an idea of the things that I want. Um, but I kind of went a little cuckoo bird on buying nail polish for March. So I'm going to try to, I want to keep it at maximum three polishes and maybe one non-nail polish item, depending on how expensive it is. Yeah, I, I think just because, uh, the internet and the computer just don't like when I open every single one. I'm gonna just be opening the ones that like I feel like I like the most of. So that's what we're gonna. I'm not gonna open every single one. I'm just, I'm just not. <laughs> we love stormy, cute, grumpy cat on the internet where I can't get allergic reaction. <laughs> okay. Um. I just said I wasn't gonna open every single one, and now I'm just like, but I want to look at things more. Okay. Good. Let's open a couple at a time. Hopefully the computer doesn't go <clears throat> too much. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, but I did skip the 1422, the acetone additive, and the Amaya Cosmic. Because, like, I just know. I know I'm not going to want it, so I just skipped them. Okie dokie. Alchemy. <sighs> we have Shepherd inspired by almost twin brother fur babies. And... Okay, that's a lot. Inspired by the cover of Mass Effect 2 and, I guess, some fur babies. Denim blue jelly, red to orange degree shifting shimmer, blue holographic glare, and touch of Paula Flakies. Hey, Cynthia. Hey, Mama Goonie. I love this. I feel like chances are high. I probably have something kind of similar, but I can't think of what it could be. But, like, it looks like something that I would have bought at some point. Ooh, this is very sheer here. That's a... Let me look at some more of these photos. I did not real. Ah, oh, yeah, there's the nail line. Okay, okay. I was not picking up that level of sheerness initially. Hey, Turnip. Okay. I, oh, I love this photo. I love this photo. I keep wanting to try alchemy lacquers, and I keep putting it off. But I don't think this is going to be the thing that gets me to jump yet. So I'm, just, I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. All mix of lacquers. Darkness is half of everything. Inspired by Kingdom Hearts. Deep in gunmetal gray. Scattered holographic intense teal. Uh, I don't know. Oh my god. Get it. No. No. I feel like I have to have something similar. Like I feel like that's very much a thing. That I would gravitate strongly towards. And I feel like I have to have something similar already. Um. I think I. I love teal nail polishes. And I love grunt. I love gray. And I love hollow. But I feel like I would have liked this more if it was just gray. But I also know if it was just gray. And holographic glitter. I would definitely have something like that. Because it's something that I buy on a regular basis. But I do like this a lot. But I feel like I'm not feeling the teal for some reason. I don't know why, because I love teal, but I'm not, I'm not. We're going to skip. Art is nails. I swear, in my brain, I always think of this brand that it says hard and not ard. But also, didn't you? And I said, I think you had a, <laughs> a you gold one you didn't have. <laughs> Very true. But you know what? I have a strong feeling I probably have something similar to that from another brand, even if I thought that I had that specific one from Starly. Like, I just bought... Is it still here? No, it's not still here. I just bought a gold from Cert Colors. Um, 24 Karat Affair, I think the name was. I just bought that. And that's a very, like, foily gold-looking thing. So, like, I know... I know I definitely have foily gold. Because, like, I love me some gold. And I can't stop buying them. Um... <laughs> I know, I know, it's weird, I didn't feel this, I don't know why, because I love me a teal. 
Um, but yeah, navy base, scatter hogger, chameleon flakes, pink to purple. Uh, I don't know. You know what? No. Oh, see, I love how this looks here as this blue. I like this shade of blue. And I feel like I kind of like these shades of blue. But I feel like I like this more. Is Nate here? Nate's here and Brittany from BCB Lacquers is here. Brittany, thank you very much for making more Twilight nail polishes. <laughs> I picked up the one from uh, Little Box of Horrors because I couldn't help myself. Also, I meant to ask you in um, Latanya's live, are you making another Twilight collection? If not, <laughs> please do. <laughs> please do. I'd appreciate it, Kay, thanks. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna skip this one just because like it's not speaking to my soul at the moment. Her, oh. I got real excited seeing Horizon and thought it was gonna be Animal Crossing, but no, Horizon Forbidden West. <sighs> yeah, I, I gotta say, I'm a little sad that there's not more Animal Crossing polishes this month. I'm very, very sad about it. I swear I need to make more Twilight polish them because they're making a 2.0 for the Xbox. Ooh. Is it going to be available on your website? Because I'm, I'm not going this year. <laughs> Please make it available. Because, <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to have to get a fairy or something to get some of the exclusives from PBE this year. Not going to lie, I am regretting my decision at deciding not to go. Um, finances just weren't in the cards for me this year, but I'm regretting the decision of not going very, very much. <laughs> please more twilight stuff so nicole can nerd out more over it seriously 13 minutes in the chat and twilight has already been mentioned <laughs> there are other animal crossing ones in there your wallet yeah i mean that is true but like i i feel like i don't have nearly as many animal crossing polishes in my collection as i would like also i'm skipping this this is not super me okay also I decided something recently. I bought that 30 pound magnet that everyone and their mama is talking about currently in the nail world. I bought it and I recently decided I'm going to force myself to become a magnetic polish person. So I, the current game plan is the next time I change my nails, I just, I just did my nails the other day. Um, I'm going to put on a magnetic polish for fun and wear it for fun. I never do this. <laughs> I feel like I haven't worn a magnetic nail polish that I wasn't putting it on to swatch in years. I do not recall the last time I did it. And since I bought this ridiculously large magnet, I'm going to I'm going to do it. Also, hold on, I got a cough. <coughs> Sorry. Had a tickle in my throat. I don't know what's going on. I mean, most chats I get into is either Twilight or Eggplant, so. <laughs> Very true. Also, I don't know what's going on with my throat. Hold on. <coughs> I don't know what's going on. Water. Okay. I'm okay. So even though I said all that about being a magnetic person now, I think because this one is a black base, and it's ju just red to gold. I think it's not going to be color shifty enough to get me to want it. Although, I do think the gold in here and the reflective glitter might get me to like it. But, I recently... I am okay. I cannot show the magnet because I am very scared it could potentially fry my computer. And, like, my computer's here and my laptop's here and I don't want to fry it. Because... <laughs> This, it's 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 like that big it's it's very large it's shaped like a u and like it's hold on i'll wave it nearby but not actually bring it like let's see can don't fry the electron this is it it came with like a metal plate thing right here but i took that off this is the magnet and like this is this is like industrial like go to Home Depot and buy a magnet kind of magnet. Like it's not like marketed for nails, but I think all of the nail people are selling it at all across the internet currently. 
But yeah, I'm next time I do my nails, I'm gonna put on a magnetic one and I'm gonna hopefully enjoy it. Hopefully. <laughs> I mean, it's uh, from what I can tell. Basically, if you want to have like the velvet nail style magnetic effect, then yeah, it's something. But I've seen a lot of people get the get the velvet effect using just like um, a regular bar magnet and doing like a little dancey thing. And then I've also seen people use the normal wand ones and like stack them. So oh, you can you see my hand? Yeah, you can see me. So that they're like it makes like a U and you just put your finger in there. And like I have a feeling Michelle has as many wand magnets as I do, and I feel like you probably can get, but like. Yeah, but it's just selling out everywhere. Everywhere. I got mine on Amazon. I know it's also at Walmart, Home Depot. Some Home Depot stores have them. Uh, where else? I don't know. I've seen a bunch. Seen it a bunch. Of hey, Ashley. I've seen it a bunch of places. I think it's one of those things where if you want the velvet effect and you tried and failed, I tried and failed many times doing the little dancey thing and all that it's doable my thing is i bought that specifically so that i could do it for like wearing it because i don't think the velvet nails looks good in photos <laughs> said what i said i don't think it looks good in photos so i don't think i'm gonna be using it for swatching at all um and i'm scared to use it for a video because like i feel like it could potentially fry my camera and my camera is very close to where my finger is when i'm doing my live swatches and like I just don't want this near my gadgetry, like I it's just too 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 much spendy spendy gadgetry that I don't want to fry using it. Oh hi Katie, happy! <laughs> I forgot to say happy Easter, happy Easter to those who celebrate it. I like that I do my little dancey dance song. <laughs> you mean I can get the magnet? Yeah, it's it's home it's a Home Depot thing. Like it's it's an industrial magnet. It's not like for nails. And, like, it is strong. The little metal plate that it comes with, I could not, like, pry the metal plate off of the magnet. Like, Wayne had to show me, like, to slide it off because it has the weight of, it can hold up 30 pounds. So, like, if you aren't careful, this could have the potential to crush your finger. Like, honestly, I saw someone saying if you have, like, a pacemaker or something to, you know, proceed with caution because, like, it's an industrial magnet. It's not four nails technically I just got a stamp from KB Shimmer that holds the magnet level you can select. you know what I have that and I have never used it they had sent me one and I have never I think I used it maybe once for a video but I've never actually used it for um like personal stuff because like I don't I just don't <laughs> also I'm taking off my my flannel it's I'm I've been I've been getting like hot and cold flashes <laughs> For the past couple of days like one second i'm hot oh bye ashley thank you for popping in like i go hot and cold very very quickly so like if yeah hot and cold okay next bcb lacquer sword that seals sword, Le Ze Ugh. zelda tears of the kingdom that was a fun game i don't feel like i liked the game as much as i liked uh breath of the wild but it was very enjoyable nonetheless okay the black flakies once again. <laughs> okay. I don't know. I love this. But I'm ha I'm struggling. Like, do I love it because it's a white crelly with black flakies? Or do I love it because, like, I want to buy it and own it and wear it? Oh, I'm struggling. Um, what? It's 80 to 85 degrees. Dang. Dang. It is only 55 degrees outside here, and it's going to drop to 36 tonight. Flannel. No! I mean, it's warm outside, but, like, I've been get, just, I just, the past couple of days, like, one second I'm hot, and the next second I'm cold. Like, the other night, I bought these new silicone socks to, like, soak my feet in oil while I sleep. And I couldn't tell. Originally, I thought it was the silicone socks that were making me hot because, like, I was sweating all night long. And then I realized when I woke up that morning that, no, it's just my body is just all out of whack currently. And it's just one second I'm hot, the next second I'm cold. And it's just not fun. If I could put black flakies in everything, I would. Same. I, I, 
I'm currently on the hunt for a black flaky topper. I've purchased two and I think there's a third incoming. <laughs> Cause I have a problem. I have a problem. I'm kind of hoping that I'll be able to mix and match the topper with um, my polishes to keep me from buying polishes that I have that just have the addition of black flakies. I'm hoping that with the topper I could pretend to just like layer stuff. Oh, but I love this. I love this. Also, skip the Halloween music. Keep forgetting to take that out. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> um... Maybe if you have like a white, a white crelly kind of white, like not like a super opaque one if you want like the layered effect. I love this though. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna say I love it, but I'm gonna skip. Okay. I, I know I'm not gonna, it's like, I'm not doing orangey red. I got this one in PR, so I'm not getting the bee's knees lacquer. Also, I don't. I don't know why, but seeing bee's knees written as just bee's knees without the lacquer gets me every time. Also, I just want to talk about this really quick. When I saw the name of this, I think I talked about this in one of the member streams. When I saw the name of this was Queen of Rot, I thought Sarah was inspired by a really, really... <laughs> a very spicy book that has a similar name. And I was so excited. I was just like, yes, Sarah is reading that filth. Yes, I love that for you. And then I saw it was not, in fact, inspired by the book. So, a little salty about that. But I, this is good. I'll have, I'm hope, I'm very behind on blog posts. Like, I've got four blog posts that I needed to put up in the past, like, week and a half that I did not. I'll have a blog post up for this, um... Maybe tomorrow. I was working on the graphics for it last night, so maybe tomorrow. Is my hand in here? Oh, there I am. So here's mine. One thing about this, this is a very sheer polish. You can kind of see here how on my middle nail is a lot lighter in color than the rest of my nails. This is one of those jelly polishes where if you go in for thicker coats, you can definitely get it like decently opaque, but it's not going to be opaque opaque if that makes sense. And I think I went in for a slightly thinner coat on one of my coats on my middle nail. And that's why the middle nail is lighter than the other nails, in case anyone was wondering. It's one of those kind of jellies where how deep it gets is going to depend on thickness of coats. Um, great smut book. Facts. Facts. <laughs> we love a spy. <gasps> Brittany, you read -a? the smut? You are a smut reader with us? I am glad. What's your favorite one? What's your favorite one? Like, if you had a one, either one or a series, what's your favorite? And I know that's a hard one, because I feel like I... I don't even know if I could pick, like, a single favorite. Like, I know one of my favorite books that has a lot of spicy content in it. Like, I will forever love Opal Rain's Dustwalker Brides forever and ever and ever. It's my... That's definitely my favorite monster romance series. But what would I say is my favorite smutty series? Um, maybe Emily McIntyre's Never, is it, what's that series called? Is it Never After? That was a good series. I liked, I liked all of the books, but one of them. Yeah, I guess I'll go with that as like one of my favorite smutty ones. Hey, Vildy. This book is so good. I might have to get a polish just for the name. Yes, I went there. I'm pulling the name card. <laughs> I, I've done it too, Michelle. I don't blame you. The Dust Walkers. I mean, that's my favorite monster romance series for sure. But I feel like for just, I mean, yes, there's a lot, there's a lot of spicy content in her books. But I feel like her books have enough, like, plot fleshed out in them and, like, world building that I wouldn't say it's strictly just, like, a spicy book. Like, it's not like a porn without a plot kind of book. Although I feel like I don't read too many of those anyway because I feel like whenever I read those, I get kind of irritated that this, it just happens so fast and it's just so like, <laughs> how did you get from there to being naked? <laughs> you know what I mean? Like some, I, 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 li I like the plot. I like the plot as it turns out. I'm so idea on spicy books, but Anne Rampling sticks to my, let me look that person up. Anne Rampling. I don't think I've read anything by them. Anne Rampling. 
Why is it I looked up Anne Rampling and Anne Rice popped up? Is that one of her... Is that one of Anne Rice's things? The only uh, erotica stuff that I read from Anne Rice was the... What the hell? Was that Cinderella? Was that what that was? What? No. Was it Cinderella that she had that weird... It was like a trilogy, I think? Or was it Snow White? What was it? Anybody remember? Oh! Sorry, I forgot to give a warning. <laughs> sorry, sorry, Snow... Sleeping Beauty, thank you, Mama Guna. Yeah, I read the first one. I did not like those. I my I read them, it was like probably mid-20s. I was not a fan. I did not think they were particularly good. Like, I know they're I know they're favorites for a lot of people. I did not like them. Holly's black cool hold on, I'm getting book wrecks now. Let me <laughs> Let me just take some pictures of the chat so that I can uh, remember to circle back. <laughs> to those book wrecks. <laughs> okay, yes, yeah, same person. Okay. Sorry. Sorry, I forgot. This is mo we'll 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 get back into the uh the smut talk at the end. <laughs> Just in case anyone's watching with their children. You had to get into the series it comes to get Ah, uh, see that and I I I got all 3 and I just struggled getting through the one. Also, I love this by Danny Vienna. But I know for a fact, just based on that shade of blue, chances are incredibly high that I probably have five different things at the minimum that are in that color that just have flakies. I, so yeah, gonna have to skip it. Gonna have to skip it. <laughs> okay, my bad. Sorry to those of you who have little Timmies with you. <laughs> my bad. Ooh, is this a shimmer? Uh, Bluebird Red Crested Regal. Banjo and Kazooie. That's a game that, well, I guess it's a series, technically. I think I might have played one of them. But I don't have, I remember enjoying it, but like it's, it's not like mine. <laughs> when the after party, be prepared. The makers are really, yeah, I'm, I'm just glad that thus far, I think for a lot of my favorite series, oh, game series, I haven't seen too much. Also, let me open that, that. Um, okay, we're gonna look at a couple of things. Okay, by Vanessa Molina, is it Molina? Mola I don't know. The Natural Order, Castlevania. I don't... <laughs> This isn't speaking to me at all. Like, again, like, I feel like, I, while I'm not saying it's not, it's not for me personally, I think the, I, I need my magnetics to really have a lot of va va voom And I don't think this would have enough to get me to sit there with that damn magnet. Return to Eden. Oh. Looks like a polish for days. Like, yeah, it's, it's party. Okay, cyber. Ooh, I had wanted to try Cyberpunk. I saw it was. I think it's like. I think it was free for PlayStation. Whatever they call the PlayStation Plus nowadays. I think it was free or something. <sighs> I like the warm state. I don't love the cold state. Those flakies look gorgeous. Those are some big honking flakies. Ah, oh, but yeah, I'm gonna skip. Gonna skip. The cameo. This was one that I was trying to decide if I was going to think that I would want it. I've seen a couple of photos of this one, and I'm undecided. <sighs> like, I like how the reflective looks in this shot. But I don't know. So, black turd multi-chrome base, gold magnetic pole, glowy blue microflakes, red to black microflakes, Cameo Colors always puts, like, five different kinds of things in every single polish, and I really love that about them. Ooh. Unmagnetized, though. That's very gold. Oh, my. Oh, my, my, my. Excuse me. Are there any more pictures? Was that it? Okay, that's it, then. Um, I like this a lot. I like this a lot. I didn't think I was going to like it as much. Did I see Michelle say it's purple May? <laughs> Mama Goonie! We are on a fixed budget this month. 
However, I hate how much they give us to create our character and then we can't even see it unless they're... Oh, it's one of those games where, like, they let you customize it, but you don't actually see them. Um, what was it? Far Cry. Uh, I think all of the Far Cries are like that. Like, I'm trying to think if they changed it for the most recent one. I don't think they did. I hated that. I, for Far Cry... I think the last one was five, wasn't it? And then there was New Dawn. So Far Cry 4, the one that takes place in Hope County. I love the sheer amount of clothes that they had for that game. My character always wore a unicorn, like, helmet thing. And I hate how, like, I barely ever got to see me in the unicorn hat. Like, it was, I was very irritated. Like, I had a unicorn hat on and a unicorn shirt. And then when I didn't have my unicorn, like, little thing on, I had, like, a cool mohawk -y thing, and I barely got to see myself looking cool. I don't like that. Don't give me the option to look cool and customize how I look, and I can't even see me. That's some BS. I'm gonna add to wishlist and think on it, because I like this a lot. You can customize down to the spicy... Really? One of those games. One of those games. So you have Chameleon Nails with Cortana? Spire the Cortana and Halo. I, I don't think I've ever played a Halo game, honestly. Also, I find it very... I wonder if this maker, if like their favorite color is black. I feel like they've given us at least four different black to clear, flaky thermals with black added in the past couple of months. Like, I wonder if their favorite color is black at this point. I'm not saying that they're duplicates. Although, one of the times I was like, didn't they just release this? And then I saw side by side, I saw that they were in fact, oh, this one's reflective glitter too. Um, but yeah, I find it very interesting how much they seem to really love black. I guess that would be me with adding gold to everything if I was a brand. I'd add gold to everything, <laughs> just because. <laughs> Customized spice, spice mix, if you will. <laughs> I like this polish and the chameleon nails. Love it. Trends I don't worry of. Yeah, I feel like I mean, maybe I almost said this next winter maybe it'll be my my thermal thing. We just came through a winter and I didn't. I don't think I wore an almost dead thermal, but I forgot it was a thermal until I put it. I don't think I wore a single thermal this entire winter. I don't think I did. Maybe, maybe I'll remember for next year that next year I'll whip out some thermals. Yeah, skipping. Cleona with Selkie Caravan. Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles. I, Final Fantasy is another one. I think the only one I played was, uh, either PS1 or PS2. I can't remember which one, but it was one of the ones that came with, like, multiple discs. I like it. Uh, I don't know. I don't know if I'll wear it, though. Oh, thank you for coming, Brittany. Please release more Twilight. <laughs> Ooh, these photos look gorgeous, though. But I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to skip. This one here. I feel like I have something that looks like this. I swear it was from Color Spectrum. I think it was a Hella Hemi Creations poly, but it didn't have the black flakies. <gasps> Dreamlight Valley! I didn't even read the name Purified Night Shards. Did anyone play um, Disney's Dreamlight Valley? Is any or is anyone is anyone still currently playing it? Anyone? It's <sighs> Disney did did real dirty with this one. I knew from Disney's what was it? Magical Kingdom was the other one. I knew from that game that Disney was going to be like, DLC, DLC, and that's what they were going to do. And I knew they are going to make it like a pain in the butt. But like originally when this game was announced, it was supposed to be a free game. So like when it was first released, if you bought the game, you got like a whole bunch of added stuff. So when I bought it, I didn't know it was supposed to be free or else I would have just waited until it was free. So I had a great time playing it. And then a couple of months ago, like right before it was supposed to become free, Disney's like, well, actually, y'all spent so much money on this. It's not going to be free anymore. <laughs> and so like now you still have to pay to play it. 
And so they've released like different expansions and normally for games when there's going to be DLC, usually you can buy just like a season pass and get all of the DLC for one price. They have not done that. They didn't do that. So like each DLC that they have released for it that's paid, I think it's like $20 or something. And I... I used to really hate DLC as a concept because I feel like don't release a game if it's not completely finished. And Disney Dreamlight Valley is one of those games where like when you first start it, it feels like it's not done yet because there's like a whole bunch of stuff that's like coming soon, coming and it doesn't feel like a completed game. It's a little buggy at times too. And like so now they're releasing all this DLC and stuff and there's like some stuff they've added that was free. But it's one of those games where you're very much incentivized to give them more money after you already paid for it. And I don't like that. Looks like strawberry. No, uh No, it does not look like vomit. No, uh What? This is beautiful. Just my issue is I feel like I have one that looks like this just without the black flakies. And now that I have finally have black flaky toppers, I'm like, should do, should I do it? Because I feel like the answer is no. <laughs> big mouse, big mousing. I see. Yeah, very much so. This is gorgeous. <sighs> also, another problem is I know for a fact I have a lot of pinks with pink to gold or just gold shimmer in them. And so chances are running even higher that I have very similar things already. Yeah, I, I feel like I can skip it, especially since it's so sheer. Like, I feel like, yeah, if I was that inclined, I probably could just add a topper because I've been doing a lot of toppers recently. Let's see. Oh, I don't know why I clicked on that one, but it's fine. I'm going to skip the cuticle because I do not need more cuticle oil. Okie dokie, Calorza Carol multifaceted Miss. Is there a Mystic in X Men? I know Mystique. X Men, is there an X Men fan in the chat? Is there a character in X Men named Mystic as well as that's not Mystique? <laughs> Hi, MP. Um, let's see. Thermal. Uh, a thermal magnetic multi. Got some typos. Multi-chrome base. Multi-dimensional magnetic effect. So... Okay. Alrighty, let's see. I cannot tell the difference between the warm state and the cold state. So this is warm and this is cold. It looks exactly the same. Cold is pink. What? Oh, mahogany burgundy when cold and pink when warm. Let's see if we can get some more pictures in. Dude, this does not look like... Okay. I mean, I feel like if this wasn't labeled, my eyes would not pick up a color difference at all. Is it just me? <laughs> Is it just me? Is anyone picking up a color difference? Not me using Google Lens to see what is close enough in my collection. <laughs> Um, not gonna lie, if they did not say this was a thermal, I never would have guessed. Like, I am not seeing thermal action at all. No? Okay, Mama Goonie says no mystic. Michelle says yes. Michelle, are you, are you thinking of mystique? I think her name has a Q. Yeah, I'm gonna skip this because this one's very confusing. I'm wondering, like, I wonder if, like, Swatchers maybe got, like, wonky bottles and that's why the thermal is not really thermaling. And I, thermaling's not a word. <laughs> changing color. Like, it, it doesn't look like it's changing. I really don't know. And, like, it's not, it's not warm enough that I'd say, you know, definitely, like, died in transit. We have Splatoon. Splatoon was one of those games that I... I got the first one, and I liked it, but what I hated the most about Splatoon is it's very much multiplayer based, and I hate being forced to do multiplayer. Hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. 
Um, I do this only have like seven moon cuts, five LMP, and quite a bit of Paltaho catalog, so not so much to check, but I still check every time because I do not need dupes everywhere. Um, what is a 5D polish? Um, from what I have seen, 5D usually is some type of magnetic multi-chrome, usually. Like, what, what sticks out in my mind as 5D is usually, um, uh, Music City Beauty has, like, 5D and 4D, and usually when it has that in it, usually the magnetic effect, for their polishes at least, the magnetic effect is, like, extra color shifty and, like, strong and not one of the magnetics that kind of, like, putter out after a couple of hours. They have really good magnetics, usually the ones that I've tried at least. Okay, missed it. Okay, so I guess it was just a typo. Um, this was one of the ones that I was curious about, but now looking at more photos, I'm wondering if I... I don't know. Pink, green, gold, multi-chrome, holographic micro flakes, silver reflective glitter, iridescent, iridescent, glitter. Like, this must be so sparkly and per- Oh yeah, it's sparkly. But I don't know. I think I'm gonna skip it. I feel like I would like this a lot, but I think I'm gonna skip it. Okay, this one. <laughs> I feel like after the member stream. <laughs> like, that's still fresh. Like, I think this looks like a, um, a light bluish version of the white one. I think they've done a white one and they've done a pink one, I think. Which I, I like those, but yeah, I'm just going to skip this one because I'm still irritated with the brand at the moment. Alrighty. Next, next. Artisan Kit I'm a Rescuer? Six? Let me just see what this is for $60. 100 milliliters of suspension base, six 8.5 bottles, fan brush, uh, polished solvent, ingredients, recipe. Oh, and it comes with recipes. That's nice. Um, I refuse to play Splatoon because Animal Crossing developers moved to work on Splatoon and Animal Crossing deserve better. Yeah, I would agree with that. I would agree with that. I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to skip the kit just because, like, I feel like I still have bits and pieces from the last two kits that I've bought. Uh, Portal. I did not play this one. I'm scared I might talk myself into all of the Zelda polishes. <laughs> yeah, I, I know the feeling. Uh, Soft Blue. Oh, the Black Flakies again. I, I don't know why, but Black Flakies literally make every single polish better. Every single time. Oh, I, I like this a lot. But... I'm trying not to be the one to buy all of the polishes just because the black flakies. Like, that's why I got the toppers to put on top of things. So I'm going to skip. I'm going to skip. Ooh, this is one of the ones that I was trying to decide on. I, so we have Dawn Polish. No, not Rainbow Road. Rainbow Road, I still remember the first time I played Rainbow Road. I think that was, that was early in my life. And I remember, I think... No, I think the first time, I, w I think I was maybe in middle school, maybe? Somewhere in there, and it was on Nintendo 64. I did not have a Nintendo 64. My friend's little brother had it. And so I was so excited to play, and yeah, I saw the rainbow. And I was like, oh my god, I have to play that. That looks so fun. Wait, was that my first time? I don't know. Whatever the case may be, Rainbow Road is the one that, like, before knowing better, I'd pick it because it's pretty and rainbowy, and then you get there, and it's just like hell, 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 horrible time. Never fun. Never, ever fun, but always very, very beautiful. But I feel like black bases are one of those things that I don't buy super often unless rainbows are involved. And I'm wondering if I have any black jelly bases with holograph, I know for sure I've got them with holographic glitter, but do I have them with a blue shimmer? And if I don't, is one with a blue shimmer different enough to get me to wear it? Uh, 
I have black, multiple black flaky toppers who, I can't pronounce that word, but I know what you mean. My need for so many polishes, it helps, I swear. I, I hope so, because, uh, let's see. I have, Darlene is whipping up one for me. I have, I just got one from Familiar Polish. I got one from Cirque. I have the Hollow Taco one. So that's four now in my possession. Well, soon to be all four will be in my possession. And I'm hoping that each one is slightly different enough to get me to be like, I'm not buying things anymore just because they have black flakies. I think I'm going to skip this just because, like, I don't... I feel like... Yeah, I think I'm going to skip it. I think I'm going to skip it. Let's see. Danglefoot, I've got no rings. Inspired by Sonic. Um... Pale, Shifting Shimmer, Gold, Peach, Green, Blue, Lilac, Holographic. Um, I don't know, Michelle. I don't know when it's releasing. I do not know. Also, I'm not sure if I was supposed to say anything. <laughs> Sorry, Darlene. <laughs> Sorry. But yes. Um, my bad. Oh, this is pretty, though. It's reminding me of something. Just looking at this shot here just reminded me. What was it? I was going to say a bee's knees. I don't know. It's reminding me of something. Thank you. Yes, we heard nothing. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, this is, no, if it's reminding me of something, that means I can skip it. Hi, Jackie. How are you? Let's see. Restless Dreams. Silent Hill. Pale Foggy Turquoise. I like calling something a foggy turquoise. I guess it's just like a grayed out turquoise, but I like calling it foggy. I like that a lot. Also, I like this little watermark this person uses. That's cute. Uh, peach pink green. Eh. Yeah, I for sure have something similar to this already. It's very pretty though. Very, very pretty. Okay, we open those. I'm skipping the dreamland because it looks like it's a thermal. Let's look at dear. Ooh, the Emily de Molly was one that I was looking at. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. Let's see. DRK Nails, I'm a rescuer. Inspired by Stray. I didn't play this. This was one that I had thought about playing. Okay, so I made a Katamari da Damasi nail polish. Nothing would stop me from getting it. <laughs> BKL. I mean, I think it's, I think that one was more opaque than lemon. It looked like it was more color shifty. Um, ooh, portion's going to be donated. Um, okay, we do not say what colors are, though, so it looks like we have a pinky purple, gold to green, maybe? Let me see your ring. Oh my god, it's a little cat! Look at that! Okay, that's cute. That's cute. Okay. Oh, wait, it's a magnetic? Wait, is it magnetic? Or is that just the light? No, I think it's the light. Yeah, okay, it was the light. Wait, no, why does it look magnetic in some shots? Am I just... Oh, look, right there! Magnetic! I just can't read. Got it. Uh... I guess not everybody realized it was magnetic, maybe? <laughs> Cat buttering, we approve. True that. What happened to what happened to typing? What? Oh, you had a typo. Got it. Okay, we're gonna skip it. The cat butt didn't get me this time. Mortal Kombat. So I feel like wait a second, it's a regularly with That's so interesting. I I was here thinking it was purple, but the base is red. And then it's the shimmer that gives it the purpley look. Okie dokie. But you know what? Now, so as I said earlier, I have been wearing a lot of toppers lately. And I also, when I was picking up a, a little a black flake topper from Familiar Polish, I also picked up a whole bunch of reflective glitter toppers. Because I have, I've got multiple silvers. I have one from Hollow Taco that's like a bunch of different colors. 
But as far as my remembrance goes, I don't have any, like, colored reflective glitter toppers. So I got all of the colored reflective glitter toppers recently from Familiar Polish. And the reasoning for that is because as of late, I've been really liking putting reflective glitter toppers over my manicure. And so now I'll have the colored ones. So now that I am a topper person again, I am not going to be buying things that I have similar things of, but the only, the only thing that's different is the reflective glitter. Now I've got the reflective glitter, so I'm good. I don't have to buy things I already have just because it has reflective glitter. Boom! Save that money, Nicole. Good job. Good job. Ooh, I saw the Psyche Minerals one, and that... I still think about that pink they had a couple of months ago and how I didn't get it. I still think about it. I think I want to try one of the reflective glitter polishes. I've tried... I swatched for them very briefly years ago. I think it was probably like 2020. No, probably 2021, I think it was. And like polishes were good. Oh yeah, I'm gonna skip this. I'm gonna skip it. I would love to see a comparison of this Envy Lacquer next to Fair Maiden Polishes Mind Freak and then also Monarch Lacquer's what was it called? It was in PPU last year. But Monarch Lacquer had one. It was I remember it was inspired by like the Salem Witch Trials or something like that. And I think it had an orange base where Mind Freak has like a red base. I think that's what it was. I would love to see those these three things side by side. Because like I don't think it's a dupe because I don't think my Mind Freak didn't have black. I don't think the black flakies were out yet then. But I would love to see them all side by side because like I think this would look so amazing especially in the fall time but I don't want to jump on it because like I'm immediately thinking of things that look kind of similar. <laughs> Save that ad says that Laudia pads get you. <laughs> the ads are coming through. Burning embers. Yeah some it was something like that. Something like that. I would love to see the three of them all side by side to determine Sorry, I just heard Sassy barking and it was her, I found something bark and I was trying to see if I needed to go investigate. But then I heard Wayne, it sounds like Wayne's outside. So I'm assuming he, she's with him doing something. So I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. Cause yeah, whenever Sassy has her, I found something bark, it quickly turns into, I'm going to eat this thing bark. And I, and I like to, you know, hop in there before that happens when possible. I don't need sphincters in my face. <laughs> okay, so they, okay, yeah, I have it set so that YouTube just throws them in when YouTube feels like throwing them in because I never remember to do the ads anyway, so YouTube is doing it. Also, Baldur's Gate 3. I had foolishly thought that, um, I thought this game was like a role-playing dating game. Because I saw so many people talking about, like, all of the romantical pairings they were doing in it. So I had thought it was, like, <laughs> I was thinking it was, like, maybe The Sims, but with weird creatures. I did not realize it was, like, um, what the hell is that thing called? They got the dice. What is that called? What is the, what is the dice thing called? I know someone knows. So yeah, I was gonna buy this game because I was like, yes, dating the weird animal creature things in a tree. Yes, this is gonna be cool. And then I, I had mentioned it in the Discord and then I found out it was, what is it called? Yes, um, D&D, &D, Dungeons and Dragons. It was like one of those kind of things. I thought it was like a dating Sims thing where you can like date all manner of creatures. And you just run around do that. That's what I thought it was. And I was so excited. And I'm really glad that like I ran it by the Discord first. Because <laughs> I would have been so mad. Like I would have been so mad. Oh my god. I haven't even looked at the site yet. I'm going to check it out. Ooh, Jackie. It was Jackie. I watched Jackie's PPU. That's the one I was watching. Thank. I just. Thank you Jackie. Just saw your name. Like yes that's what it was. Hmm. But yeah, it's not a dating game. Don't get too excited. It's, I saw more of the gameplay. Like all the gameplay I saw was just like people trying to get like jiggy with it, if you will. So I was like, cool, cool, I could play this. And then I saw like more gameplay that wasn't just the jiggy part. So I was like, oh, yeah, never mind. Not for me. Okay, 
Ethereal's Careful I Bite. Um, Rainbow Shifting Aurora Shimmer that shifts green, pink, copper to violet. I don't want to be a stickler. But I don't feel like we can call a shimmer rainbow if it doesn't actually shift to rainbow. I, I... Like green, pink, copper, and violet. I mean, I guess that's close. Maybe. But like you're still missing red, orange, and yellow. And I guess the maybe the pink to maybe the pink to green has like a, a slight gold moment at some point. But like it's it's making me feel like a bit of a stickler that it's not like rainbow rainbow. It is still pretty though, I will give them that. Have you looked into validate or thirsty suitors? Let me let me just <laughs> take a picture of that too. I have not. I have not. I haven't really done any, um, like, dating sims games at all. So, yeah, I have not. I, most, generally when I'm playing games, it tends to be, I do a lot of <laughs> shooting at things, um, and running around. Like, I like open world games mostly. And then, like, I just started Luigi's Mansion 3, which isn't really open world at all, but it's, it's Luigi's Mansion. What's there not to like? It's definitely a feature depending on who you're playing with. Oh. <laughs> Dungeons and Dating. <laughs> it's pretty, but do Yeah, I, I feel like it's probably a fairly strong uh, possibility that I have something very... I feel like I have... For polishes that are like just straight shimmer, I would be highly surprised if I didn't have at least something in that category already. I think I have an idea... Rayman game. Meh. Gonna skip. Femme Fatale. Scarlet Rot. Lake Rot from Elden Ring. Velvet. Purple Jelly. Copper Gold Green Shifting Shimmer. Two to three coats. Ooh, this is pretty. I haven't bought from Femme Fatale in years. Years and years and years. Not for any particular reason. I just keep talking myself out of them. Um, I like this a lot, but just, again, just like I just said, like, I feel like chances are very high that anything that's, like, just shimmer, I probably have something close enough. Oh my, I saw, um, when Christine <laughs> was playing Dream Daddy, the, the song from that, the Dream Dad, that song was stuck in my head. That, so I don't normally watch Christine, uh, well, Simply Nail Logicals, um, live streams that are just playing video games. I, I tried the Dream Daddy one, and I quickly realized that Dream Daddy got stuck in my head way too much. Okay, open that. Uh, to do. I just want to see what the scent description is on that. That's all we're opening it for. I'm skipping because I do... Okay, we're going to open that, actually. Okay. And then let's play with fire. Hopefully that didn't get laggy. <laughs> okay, Garden Path Lacquers, World's a Little Blurry. Puzzle game Il Ilomilo. Blue accented. Da, 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 blue, 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 blue. Very, very pretty. Oh, that's interesting. Let's look in close. Oh. I feel like the finely built ch the glitter makes this kind of interesting to look at. Like at first I was like, oh yeah, well blue shimmer, whoop de whoop whoop, and now I'm just like, wait a second, that's pretty. I wish I could tell better. Like it says it's holographic, but it doesn't look holographic. Like it just looks blue. Did I put my foot in my mouth? I just saw Sunny said I love Nicole's honesty. Laugh out loud. I hope I didn't put my foot in my mouth. <laughs> Oops. Oh yeah, Femme Fatale is a bit more spendy. But I always... There are two things that I will give some leeway to on a spendy polish. One is when the brand is not based in the US. And two is when it's a boutique brand. And Femme Fatale's based over in Australia, and I would have to imagine that getting supplies to Australia must suck, and then having to ship everything back out again. So yeah, there are nine mLs, I think their bottles are. 
Um, I've never ordered from Polish Picket. Does anyone have any tips or things I should know? Um, if any of the polishes you like have... I mean, I used to say anything less than 400, but I feel like I don't see under 400 too often anymore. But anything you like that has a cap on it, like you know for sure you want it, get to the website as soon as you can because sometimes things are like really, really popular. And sometimes things with even with 500 bottles, that sells out in a couple of hours. The non-nail polish items I tend to find, they also have lower caps and those are more prone to selling out quickly. Uh, there are some items that I feel like sell up fast every month. The cat toy, when Heather's Hughes had her lotion in these, that one sold out really fast. Um, there are some, yeah, some of the non-nail polish up with lower caps, those tend to sell a lot faster than the polish items do. But like anything you know for sure that you desperately need, get to the website as soon as you can because some things that sell out really, really fast. Like I set an alarm for years to remind me to be able to shop PPU. I stopped doing the alarm. Like now I just remember Friday at 11 and I'm just like there and I scroll. But yeah, get there as soon as you can because things will sell out. Um, if you're on Facebook and you're not in the PPU group, I would recommend joining that because there's a, there's always a thread there. And anytime things sell out or things get at like new bottles get added, it's posted in there. So you can see if something you wanted that sold out gets re-added back in. But yeah, I think that's the biggest one is like shop as soon as you can. Um, Mark Plyer played dream. I've never, I know who that is, but I don't think I've ever watched Mark's content before. Um, hold on, I'm just making sure I didn't say. Oh yeah, see that, I never remember to preload my cart, but yeah, preloading your cart is like a thing you can do. I think preloading, um, I think that opens up on Thursday. I think Thursday night they do that. Hand, hand hugs from hell. Oh, the gloomy sp I hated those. I hated those so very much. <laughs> Mark Pyre is really hot. I can see how someone could say he is an attractive person. I can see that. With big nail varnish spending budget money vibes. Yeah, um, one thing that I do with people- I'm gonna skip- I, I've got stuff similar, so I'm just gonna skip. Um, one thing with PPU with me is kind of one thing that I would do to try to save money with PPU is when I like things that have a cap, but like I am not 100% sure if I want to spend the money. What I do is I will basically show up to the shop on like Sunday morning. So when it's been open for two days and if the thing that I had wanted that had a cap is still available on Sunday morning when I wake up, then I take it as a sign that I was supposed to get it. <laughs> That's kind of how I do it sometimes when I'm undecided if I wanted to spend the money. Also, I don't need more sugar scrub. But this smells, this smells, this sounds like it would smell scrumptious. <sighs> Citrus explosion, medley orange, limes, lemons, and lemon, and grapefruit. Sweetness with bursts of tart. Oh. Let me, let me just see what it looks like. Let me. Yeah, I don't. I'm still trying to work through my sugar scrub stash. I'm gonna skip. Royal pain in the butt. Royal match. I did not play that. He's cute. Not quite my type. Yeah, same thing. He's not my type, but I can see why someone else would find him attractive. Um, this isn't speaking to me. I. Yeah, it's not speaking to me. I'm just gonna skip. Also, I don't have any multi-chrome stamp oh no you know what i was going to say i don't have any multi-chrome stamping polishes but i feel like i remember uh i have some multi-chromes from heather's hues and i feel like i remember those stamped so i guess i do okay so yeah we're gonna skip this after all i wasn't going to but now we're gonna skip i swear to god i just saw this somewhere has anyone seen this compared in the nail comparisons group? Because I swear to God that I we just had a collab box that had like this blue shimmer and pink glitter. But I don't remember what brand. I couldn't. Is anybody Patty Lopes? Are they the Canadian one? Or are they one of the Brazilian brands? Anyone remember? I can't remember if they're the Canadian. No, I think it's 
the pa I think Pam Whirlpool Whirlstock Whim no whimsical something by Pam I think that's the Canadian brand yeah I think I think that's so this is Brazil yeah okay Michelle says Brazilian oh Cynthia's getting the stamping polish <laughs> Please tell me. I mean, I feel I have some stamping polishes from Hit the Bottle, and I found they're all great. I have a bunch of their holographic ones. Those are amazing. They're really, really good. But if you can't afford um, the Hit the Bottle holographic stamping polishes, Color Club, they're, a lot of their Halos hues, linear hollows, a lot of those do stamp. So if you can't afford those, the Color Club ones are significantly cheaper. Assume... In, here in the U.S., they're cheaper. I don't know about everywhere else. Really watch my brain. He's one of those OG YouTubers, so you often get his features with people. Yeah, I I think I have a clip from something he said um, that I was going to use for a video at one point. Me with Hall Taco. I sort what of what I want whenever there's a new release. Is the box set from a previous one still available now that I can afford it? Because it's so it's a sign. Yeah, I feel like that. I feel like it's a good way to shop. <laughs> Like, you give it time to sell out, and then you come back and like, yes, it was meant to be. It was meant to be. I am not a gamer. Also, none of these references matter to me. I just like the polishes. My, I like, um, I'm going back and forth. Some things that I like the, the inspiration, which pushes me to like the polish more. And then other things I just like the polish and don't particularly care about the inspiration. I watch Little Simsy for gaming. Sometimes they're shouting, but mostly, I don't know who that person is. Uh, what did I miss? I am a big gamer and I love his content. He's my comfort watch, so I have never seen him as attractive. Both of my friends both. Yeah, I, I have seen a lot of folks say that Mark Plyer is a handsome gent. Stardew Valley. This is cute. But, much like I keep saying, I feel like chances are super high that I have something similar. Also because this is purple, and I feel like purple is one of those colors... Damn, that's pretty, though. Oh, there's violet microflakes in here. You know, I'm noticing a lot today that um, brands are mentioning blurring base coats and undies for these sheer polish. I wonder if that's... <laughs> I, I shouldn't laugh. I'm, I'm laughing because, like, I find it just interesting after all of the um, commotion about sheer polishes as of late, that they're mentioning this kind of stuff in the listing, that it is very sheer. I think that's... <laughs> I, I'm, I'm laughing just because, you know, it, it, it's... Yeah, it, I just find it interesting. Because, yeah, I feel like a lot... Some of the swatches you can tell, but I think also because... So often these super strong shimmers, depending on the lighting, like you're not going to see your nail line because the shimmer at that moment is so strong. But like in other angles and lines, like, yeah, you're going to see your whole ass nail. Brian Miller! Brian Miller! Hello! I don't know where the accent came. Hi, Brian. <laughs> don't buy any more pink or purple. See that? I, I might be able to talk myself out of not buying a ton of purple, but I feel like pink is out the door. I, I know myself well enough to know that, like, I'll see pink and just be like. Because, yeah. Oops. I didn't mean to move that. Oop. Um, I can deal with, like, the simply levels of shouting, like, a few times here and there. But she gets spooked or something. But not all the time. I get tired. Yeah. That's one of my least favorite things about a lot of uh, video game streamers. Like, I mean, I understand that they have to be entertaining for their audience. But, like, I don't, <laughs> I don't, I, I don't, I, I don't like all of, like, the yelling and the shouting and, like, the, like oh, 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 all of that. Like, I just, it's too much. It's too much for me, personally. But, I'll, again, I'm also not the target audience for video game streams anyway. I, if I want to watch a game, I'm probably going to play it and not watch somebody else play it. And if I'm going to watch the game, it's because I'm stuck at a certain part of the game. And I'm gonna watch, like, the condensed, like, five-minute clip on YouTube versus, like, sit there and watch someone stream it. Okay, this is one of the polishes where I was going back and forth on if this is actually something I like. So, you have Gior Couture Game On, inspired by a neon gaming sign. 
Violet, pink, blue, green, multichrome, magnetic pigment, neon glitters in various colors and sizes. <sighs> I feel like it's the glitters that I'm liking in this. I think that's honestly what it is. My nails get so stained, I want more coverage. Yeah, I recently took, I was trying to have an overlay on my right hand just because like polish doesn't last super long on here. Although I feel like this is lasting surprisingly long. I did these nails, uh, I think that was Friday morning and today is Sunday and like I don't have a single chip on here. But yeah, I, I, I took all of the gel off of this hand and what was I talking about? Oh yeah, staining, sorry. <laughs> And yeah, the polish that I was wearing, so like when I took the gel off, I left like little bits on, like I didn't file it all off because I didn't want to damage my nails, but like I was seeing like the unevenness of the gel like on my nail, it was bothering, so I filed it all off. And when I filed it off, when I filed off all of the gel, I was wearing like a, like a tealish color, and the teal stained in like spots on my nail, so like some parts are green. <laughs> And some parts are not. And I've got like polka dot green staining on this hand now. <laughs> oh, yeah. So like half of the nail is not stained. Like all the nail that grew in when I had the gel on. And then the other half is like yellow. Like yellow, yellow from all of the staining from nail polish. And then there's like green dots on top of it. I honestly thought I had um, greeny. Because, like, there was green on my nail. And I was like, oh my god, I got it! I got the green! But no, it was literally just the staining from the green polish. Um, Phoebe and Monica look with that elbows. I thought this one was so different. Yeah, and I feel like I don't see magnetics that often with glitter. I feel like it does not happen super often. And I'm just like, do I really like this? Or is it really just, like, the neon glitters that I like? And I can't... Oh, it looks very, a lot more sheer than I real. Oh, like, look at that. I feel like I like this a lot. And I don't have strong feeling towards magnetics usually. But, like, I'm really, really liking this. I don't, I, I think this is, like, as a topper here. Because, like, this looks a lot blacker than everyone else's. I don't like it as a top. I like it on its own. But, dang it. Do, do I like it? Um, thanks for coming, Jessica. Free, free splatter nail art. Drew said it was a magnetic multi-chrome glow. It glows in the dark? What? Oh, oh, I skipped, I missed what you said there. Um, my only drawer didn't do anything advertise itself to do, so I don't buy. Um, I think I only, oh, let me verify. I think I only own one Gior nail polish. I swatch for them so, like one month I swatched for them and yet yeah, never again. But they, I got a mag, no, it was a thermal from them. Yeah, I only have one. I had a thermal from them and um, it arrived dead. <laughs> I mean, it came in the middle of summer and to be fair, it did sit on my front porch for like two, three hours. It was there for a couple of hours in the middle of summer. But yeah, it was dead when it got here. Uh, that's the only experience I have with them. I, I've never bought anything from them, and I've just gotten that one thing. But yeah. But I feel like with this, like, it's not, a, it's not a thermal, so it can't die. But man, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know, staining, it depends on the color of staining, if whether or not it's going to bother me. Like, the yellow staining, like, I'm just like, whatever, it's fine. It's not that big of a deal. I more so hate it when like I wear something and I take it off and my nails are blue or green or red or pink. I don't like that kind of staining. Like I'm I'm very used to like the yellow, but like when it's like a weird color, that's when I get irritated. And like I don't consider it like a fault of the polish when that happens because like it's pigments, it's gonna happen. It's just more so like I hate having to sit there with the cuticle remover on my nail trying to get the staining off. That's what I don't like. Um, you do that now? Yeah, maybe I will. I'm gonna, I'm gonna add it to my wish list and think on it. Cause like, I'm concerned, like, do I just like it because of the glitter? Cause that's like my other thing. Um, sorry. Hi, Stacy. Also, sorry. I just realized my thing was not going up. Day of the Dead Thermal. What was Day of the Dead? Um, I wear two different base coats with voice saying it works so well. That's good. Usually, um... 
it depends on how committed I am on preventing staining. I, for this one, because I had just taken all the gel off and like I knew for, oh, there is a chip on there. And I knew for sure that I was going to have like some weakness just because like I over filed a little bit. I did two coats of base coat on here to try to add some more strength. But usually, um, I don't. Usually I don't do two. Sometimes, sometimes it helps, but I find it depends on the polish. Like China Glaze, they did a My Little Pony collection quite a few years ago. There's a blue, like there's like a, a nice vibrant blue and a red from that release. And those two, I love those colors. I've worn them a whole bunch and they stain really, really badly. And I went so far as to try to do three layers of base coat <laughs> to prevent staining, did not work. The only thing that I found that works with those to not get any staining at all is to have like like an, another color polish underneath of it and then that seems to help but yeah some things just want to stain the bejesus out of you for whatever reason but yeah i do think doubling up does work even tripling up if need be but it depends heavily on the polish also it's getting warm in here or am i just getting like toasty i'm just gonna crack a window real quick hold on one second hold on Toasty. Toasty. Uh. Looking at it too long, wish listed. <laughs> I added it. I added it. Kathleen and Co. Tropical Freeze. Uh, I feel like this is pretty, but I don't feel like this is something that I'm going to reach for. Oh my god, do, why do I see some boycotting talk again? <laughs> no. No, I'm not saying, no, I'm not saying what brand I'm wearing on this hand. Because no, you guys are not going to get me. I'm not saying nothing. Nothing. Nothing at all. Because no, I feel, for this hand, getting through Friday and Saturday to Sunday uh, evening with, with only one itty bitty chip all at the corner... No, you guys aren't going to get me. You're not getting me. Also, this is one of the ones that I wanted. <laughs> KB Shimmers, What a Peach, inspired by Princess Peach. I love me Princess Peach. Did anyone get the new Princess Peach game? I downloaded the demo, and I didn't like it. I didn't like it. And I was really mad that I didn't like it, because like I was honestly looking forward to it. I have been waiting for a Princess Peach game since we had Super Princess Peach. I found out recently that apparently that people didn't like that game. What? It was fun. It was cute. It was very, very cute. I am... I... I won't get into the rant. Uh, yeah, the new Princess Peach game is on the Nintendo Switch. Nope, I haven't posted it in the Discord. Uh. <laughs> nope. Didn't post in the Discord. I haven't put, nope, nope, nope. You guys aren't getting me. Oh, this is really, really cute. And I had to ask myself if I would have still liked this if it wasn't Princess Peach, but I will be honest. Yes, I would have liked it, but if it wasn't Princess Peach, I probably would have said that I own something very similar to this already. Like, chances are incredibly high. But, oh shit, my, hold on. Light went out. <laughs> but, it's pink, so it doesn't count. It doesn't count. <laughs> it's pink. It's mine. I'm getting it. I don't care. Oh, my God. <laughs> Maybe this is silly, but I'd be more interested in the Princess Peach game if all of her outfits were pink. I mean, I don't think that's silly at all. I also... I Yeah, the outfits didn't look as cute, honestly. I, I like um, the outfits that she had in Super Mario Odyssey. I thought those were outfits were cute, but yeah, I'm, I'm sad that the game wasn't, pre I mean, again, it was just the demo and I guess I didn't play that long, but I, it was not, it was not what I had wanted for Princess Peach. Crystal Kevin for King, Kevin the dog from the Overcook series. Ooh, this person's nails are pretty, 
pretty pretty uh peacock blue uh, i think i'm gonna skip this i like it a lot but i think i don't like it enough if that makes sense <laughs> You know what I mean? Like, I like it a lot, but I think I'm going to skip. Leisha's Lacquer question mark. Mario gold coins. Sorry, I, if you're what that face was me picturing the gold coins from Mario. And I was like, this looks very like antique gold and not like cartoon gold. And so that's what that face was like. I was here picturing coins from Mario and looking at this and thinking and that that's what the face was. <laughs> I'm going to, it, I recognize it's gold, but I don't feel like it's gold enough. And I don't know how to explain it other than like, I don't feel like it's gold enough. Like it's, I don't know. I don't know how to, does anyone understand what I mean? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to skip. Okay, Living Lacquer Butts. Ooh, I saw, I think I saw this on uh, Lisa's blog, I think this one was. I, when I saw this was inspired by, quote, Living Diamond Unicorn Butt Stallion. I never played these games, but I saw Unicorn. I was like, oh, I love it. But like, I, I feel like I have something really close to this already. Like, I, I'm currently thinking of a Heather's Hughes polish that came out. Um, I think it was probably 2019 2020 i think it was on her website and this is reminding me of that i want more yellow in that gold okay yeah so you, you all know what i mean like it wasn't gold enough see quite a few like it though Ooh, marty raw vibes yeah i can see that but yeah i don't know who butt stallion is i feel like i have something similar so i'm gonna skip even though it's unicorn Kirby. Oh, I saw again on Lisa's blog. She had mentioned that this comes with star glitters. I was picturing more from the star glitters, honestly. I like it. It's cute, but I'm just <laughs> disappointed that I don't, I don't know why I was picturing like different stars, but I guess it makes sense for Kirby. But yeah, we're going to skip. We're going to skip. Do, 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 do. Okay, we have Lumen. Uh, I don't need a bag. Uh, yeah, we'll open these two. Okie dokie. Lumen's Aurora Beam. <laughs> <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> um, Aurora Beam movie. Oh, move in Pokemon. I feel like I saw so much conversation about this one. I think it looks really pretty. But I feel, I'm wondering if people are definitely tired. I'm sweating, it's hot in here. The polishes have me flamux. <laughs> yeah, I, I had a crack window. I was feeling toasty. Guys, the lumen is sheer. Guys, it's here. Lu it's lumen. It is sheer. Yeah, I feel like almost every polish that I see from lumen is a very, very sheer. I, I honestly wonder if people... I feel like people get thrown off by like the intensity of the shimmer and don't look past the shimmer to see like what the photo shows for nail line maybe. Cause yeah, like I feel like every, Ooh, now it's getting cold in here. I feel like every lumen I see is sheer. I feel like that's just what they do. They do sheer, they do strong shimmers and that's that. I think this looks pretty. But I don't know. I don't know. Is anyone picking this one up? <laughs> Thanks, Brian Miller. I never knew that about Lumen. Thank you, Brian, for the public service announcement. Yeah, it's it's very sheer. Although I will say, I saw in the PPU group someone was asking because like the post said it was pink tinge, and some posts say it's not. It's something. It's clear. I feel like I see like a pinky tone to it. Like, I don't think it's just, like, just clear. Like, I'm seeing, like, a pinky tone in the base. Weight over black. This might be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like most sheer shimmer polishes look the same over black. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. 
I feel like, yeah, it looks cool over black, but I swear, I feel like every shimmer looks green, blue. Oh, I mean, not every single one, but I feel like a good percentage of the time over black is this green and blue. And I know, I feel like green to blue to like purple is like a very popular color shift for shimmer and maybe that's why. But like sometimes it's just like it always looks, and I'm not saying it looks bad. I'm just saying like, I feel like they often just look the same. <laughs> I just think it's important. I wouldn't want you to buy a sheer polish that says it's sheer just to find out it's sheer. <laughs> Seriously, Brian. Although I feel like the, the brand should start putting sheer pink tinted base. And I think they should, start, they should just start adding the word sheer to the official description just to help people, you know, not be confused. Because, yeah, people have been getting confused. But yeah, I think it's pretty, but I'm going to skip. <laughs> Love sheers, but I'm not a pink guy. Fairy pink is often pink. Yeah. Me looking at my fancy gloss green shimmer topper to see if I can do. See that I was actually thinking the other day about pink. Um, ILNP has a bunch of shimmer toppers, and I was going through my shimmer drawer for toppers. That is, and I was very surprised to see that I didn't have very many shimmer toppers. That's just the shimmer. I was very surprised to find that most of mine have like something else added to them. I love this year, but yeah, they all look like, and I feel like that's probably not a coincidence. Like, I feel like that's one of their most popular things. So like, yeah, they're going to release similar things to them. No, it's fine, Brian. I know. Cause like, I feel like the, <laughs> everything that went on with Lumen, um, a week or two ago, it was a lot. It was a lot. That's why I was kind of chuckling. Cause I was just like, am I getting into this? Am I not getting it? It was, yeah, it was just a lot. I feel like they could they could save a lot of customer frustration if they also include sheer in the official description too. <laughs> people getting confused. Are you people, Nicole? Yes. It is me. I am the one that is confused. <laughs> I forgot about the hollow taco shimmers. I but they don't have that many of them. I forgot. They they don't, I don't I feel like they don't have that many. Like I think it's like what four maybe? I might be misremembering. I don't know. Also I feel like I like like a little corner like lip stuck in the corner because it was one of those picking at. It's like a little lip flake thing. Oh man, I won't buy Lumen too sheer. Yeah, I feel like if you don't like sheer, is it probably a brand to skip because I feel like almost everything they do is a sheer shimmer. They release it's more than four? See that? Brain? Oh, yeah. I think now, I think they're up to almost the same amount of shimmer toppers as they have flaky ones, aren't they? Victorian Varnish is releasing a sheer purple topper tomorrow that even I want into beauty. I did not see that one. Anyway, something like Linby. I feel like this is another one that, like, I definitely have similar things to. But it's damn pretty. Also, is a woohoo icon in The Sims, is that shebang shebang? Is that shebang shebang? Because I, I did not play Sims 4. Like, the last Sims game that I played was probably SimCity on Super Nintendo. Is woo, is, is one a woohoo? Is this, is this a shebang shebang? Oh, it is. Okay, so Hollow Taco has six shimmer toppers. See that I don't even remember anymore. <laughs> Brain fart. Um, yes, I'm going in alphabetical order, Stacy. Inspired by Ms. Pac-Man, Pac-Man, and, and Super Mario. Dude, Pac-Man games were fun. I really enjoyed the Pac-Man games. But I'm gonna skip this one, because it's not really speak- Ooh, actually? Yeah, it's not speaking to me as much. If, the, if, if we weren't going into summer, and this was in the fall, this probably would speak to me a lot more. Okie dokie. Oops. Let's see, Monarch Lacquer or Princess is in another castle. So, I mean, not technically Princess Peach related, but sort of. I guess it's Mario. It is indeed shebang shebang. <laughs> That's what I thought. I feel like Limby does a lot of cheeky name things, so I figured the Wana Woohoo was about the shebang shebang. Um, 
Let's see. Doo -doo -doo. Medium purple, intense pink to red dynamic shifts. Huh. I don't know why. But I thought this was going to be more than... I mean, this shot here, I'm seeing some, like, orangey goldiness at extreme angles. But yeah, I feel like I have something similar enough. So we'll skip. Moonshine Manny. League of Legends. Uh, Orchid with gold and holographic flakes. Um, I like the gold. <sighs> hmm. I don't feel like it's speaking to me, though. But I really, I like the... You know what? The longer I look at it, the more I'm liking it. But I'm wondering... <sighs> no, I think if I'm Hemin and Holland, I'm just gonna skip it. Just gonna skip it. Oh, here comes one that I was thinking about. Oh, we got a couple of things that I was thinking about coming up. Okay, Music City Beauty Cuteness Overload. I saw this one on the book face, and I'm just like, this is cute. Inspired by Daisy from Baby Daisy from Mario Kart, yellow base, gold shimmer, red and green metallic flakes. Oh, this is adorable. It's starting it's reminding me a little bit of food for some reason. Like tacos? No, it's not yellow. It's not taco it's not cheese yellow. But I don't know, like, it's making me think of something food-related. Anybody else? <sighs> it's cute, though. I like this a lot. And I feel like I don't have that many yellow Krellies. I'm, I, I de-stash one that I still regret doing. But, man, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I like it, though. I like it. I don't know. I'll add to wish list and I'll think on it when we look at everything together. Spicy hummus? Ah, no, I think it's too, like, artificial yellow for hummus. <laughs> Tacos on my ass up. I use ether and lumen as my shimmer top. Yeah, I feel like with how sheer they are, those would be really good to use as toppers. Okay, nailed it. Skies of Skyrim. I have never played Skyrim. Um, I wish we had like a description, but it looks like, is it purple? A purple magnetic? Yeah, it looks like it's like a light purple maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna skip. I don't have strong feelings. Uh, Night Owl Lacquer's Light Dragon. We have a, whoever it was that said that there was a lot of Zelda ones, you were correct. How do I feel about this? I feel like this is one of those polishes that like looking at the photo, I'm not vibing with it, but if I got it on my nails, I would love it. And I feel like I trust Night Owl Lacquer to get me to like things that I wouldn't normally like. But I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. It's really pretty. I don't know. And I don't feel like it's a little more sheer than I thought. I feel like this is one of those colors that I wouldn't think I would buy. So maybe I don't have something similar. Same. It's really pretty. Like, I feel like I want to try it. I feel like I want to try it on my hand. Well, yeah, let's add to wish list. Let's add to wish list. <laughs> I feel like I hemmed it on thought enough that I'm going to do it. This is one that I told myself don't do it. Like, I love this. Look at look at the circle-y glitters. I think there's stars in here, too. Scattered hollow base, gold, blue, green, indigo, flakies, black, neon green, and light blue matte glitters, sapphire, hollow, and metallic glitters. Oh, noodles. Noodles, noodles, noodles. Noodles with the glitters. Every single time. Every noodles that I own is a glitter. I really, really like their glitter polishes, but like, should I do it? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. It looks sheer in the light swatches. Um, the night owl lacquer looks sheer in the light swatches. I'm okay with the sheer, cause like it. That was the kind of sheer that actually there was actual pigmentation there. It wasn't like what's going on, blink blink sheer. Uh, nope, dupe it. 
I'm thinking of my glitter toppers, and I don't think I have any glitter toppers that are like this. Like, I, I don't think I have any that are just blue or green. I can't think of anything, but I don't know. I think I will skip it just because, like, I'll... I'm sure Noodles will come out with another glitter at some point that I'll, like, have to jump on. Oh, my... Oh, we're coming up on another one that I was really like... Ooh, two that I was really like... Okay. Okay, polish. Yoshi! Yoshi! This is cute, but I'm, I feel confident that I have something similar enough. But I like this. It's cute. Paint it pretty. Dancing cat. Sea of Thieves. Okay. I like... Hmm. Yeah, I would imagine um, maybe things went out late or hasn't gotten updated because it's Easter. <laughs> I would imagine that's it. The things just haven't gone out because people were doing Eastery things this past week. Okay, I'm going to skip. This one here. Am I wrong? Didn't painted... Po what color was the painted polish one from Fandom Flakies, the Barbie box? Was that also pink with blue with blue glitters? Hold on, let me just look that up. Fandom Flakies uh Barbie. Ah ha ho. Hold on. Ah uh, oh. That is hold on. I wonder if I can copy and paste to my own thing. Woo! It worked. <laughs> I was like, I copy and paste. Hold on, folks. Hold the phone. I thought I was, like, losing it a little bit. Okay, this looks like it's a little bit more vibrant. Okay, thank you for the ad. Thank you. Scroll, 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 Okay. Oh, shoot. I lost the chat over here. Okay, I feel <laughs> I feel like these two are close enough that I, yeah, I can skip. <laughs> so they say it's Okay, so this is a Barbie pink Crowley with blue metallic flakes and this is a bright pink Crowley with turquoise metallic flakes. Yeah. And you know what? I saw this like, "Oh wow, I love this. I love this." I'm like, "Wait a second. Didn't I swatch this? <laughs> what? What? But look, here's the issue. Inspired by Princess Peach. There, there's the issue, folks. <laughs> oh, dang it. I wanted this. But I was like, wait. So I was honestly really hoping that I was misremembering. And it was like one of the other brands that had the pink curly. <laughs> and I can just pretend. Since it's a different brand, I'll get it because it's Princess Peach. <laughs> and this is how I ended up with 5,000 bottles of nail polish. <laughs> just pretend. Just pretend. But no. Same brand. It's just, it's too much. I can't. And you know, if it was a brand that, like, I'm more prone to buying everything from, I probably would justify it. But, like, I, I don't buy everything from Painted Polish. <sighs> But it's cute. It's cute. So yeah, if you missed the Fandom Flakies box that was Barbie with painted polish, I would recommend this one then. I have four polish and brush that look <laughs> that look the same. Yeah, I I do I do that too. I'll be honest, I do that too. This, but I feel like this is a little bit brighter. No, I'm gonna skip it. I'm gonna skip it. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna do this to myself. Pamper polishes Mako. Final Fantasy. Oh. I like this color. I don't like this color. <laughs> but she says it's a pastel mint cream. So maybe it's one of those pastel mints that photograph a lot brighter than they actually are. So yeah, I'm going to skip. No. No, I don't. I No, I don't. I don't like the metallic flakes enough on their own to justify buying one of the toppers, Michelle. I like them mixed together, but I don't. I don't like them on their own. I don't like them enough to buy the topper with them. Uh, Paradox. See, I know that this is the Pac Man, waka, 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 but I'm reading it as like Waka Waka Waka, like Fozzie the Clown. Not Foz, no, Fozzie the Bear, not Fozzie the Clown. 
Did you ever get the um, no, I did not get stump the the brown. You mean the the brown flaky one from? No, I'm waiting for a sale. I almost bought it recently because I placed an order at Mooncat recently, but I only got the. Is this still here on my desk? I only got the new limited edition. But I didn't get anything else because I'm waiting for a sale. I'm gonna get it from the sale. Same. Love me some Princess Peach. Um, metallic light blue with lots of glowy shift. Iridescent flakes. Oh. This looks like one of those metallics where the flakies look almost chunky. It, you know what I mean? Like sometimes with the metallics, flakes look a little chunky sometimes. Oh, no, I'm gonna skip this. Yes, I. <laughs> Hold on. Where is it? I thought. Oh, you know, I remember. I think. Hold on. I think. We did the, the thing for it. Yeah, we did. During the member stream. Hold on. Turn this on because I didn't do my overhead camera. Hopefully this is big enough. Here it is. It's also what's on my nails. It's really pretty. Hopefully y'all can see it. Hopefully it's big enough. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I saw in the email that went out from Mooncat this morning, I think, it's almost out of stock. They're getting low on bottles on it if you want it. It's limited edition and is not going to be restocked. It's very, very pretty. Um, I never liked magnetic flakies. Yeah, I, I think it's very dependent on the type of flaky because sometimes they just look chunky. And I don't like it when they look chunky. Zack and Cloud... Baby turquoise. I don't think I've ever heard a shade called baby. I'm, <laughs> I'm nitpicking again. I'm nitpick. Damn it! I was hoping no one would remember I said it chipped. No, 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 no. We are not. We're, no, there is no boycott happening for Moon. No, we love Mooncat here on this channel. My things do not last long on this hand at all. And it, the chip is tiny. It's, I don't even think you'll be able to tell. It's tiny. It's barely there. No. Hell to, I will fight you, Michelle. I will fight you. Hell to the no. Hell to the no. I love me some Mooncat. We are not, no, not doing this. <laughs> no. No, no, no. Okay, back to the baby turquoise. Has anyone, else, has anyone ever heard that shade of color? Ba I mean, I guess if you have baby blue and baby pink, you could have baby everything else. I guess. I just said I had never heard it before. You could not see the chip from space. It is not gigantic, Stacy. Y'all, we are going to tussle. I'm with... Hold on. Stormy! Stormy, I need you to fight somebody. Come on, here she comes. She's coming. Stormy's ready to tussle all of y'all. Come here, Stormy. Come here. I will fight all of y'all. I will come to your house and fight you. Ah! <laughs> Hi. How are you? You gonna fight them for me? You fight them, Stormy. Here, you need to oversee the chat. Okay, don't show your butt. Stormy's gonna fight all of y'all. All of y'all. <laughs> Stormy's gonna be fighting everybody. Thank you for being here to moderate, Stormy. Because my regular moderator is starting shit. My regular, so Stormy's here to moderate now. Terrible. This Phoenix. Oh, wait a second. Okay, I've got... What is Brian saying that's so funny? Stormy would never fight Michelle. Real recognizes real. <laughs> that's true. Michelle does have... Was it a knife or scissors in the bag Michelle walks with? <laughs> Michelle's ready. Michelle, she's about that life. She's ready. <laughs> oh, my God. Stacy, listen... I think I outcat most people in this chat right now. I why is it is oh the camera's trying to focus on Stormy and not on me. Okay, I see how it is. 
Oh my god. I love this nail polish very, very, very much. But. <sighs> Phoenix almost got my money yesterday. I saw Beautyometry has uh, some, it looks like some, not all, of those vampire polishes that they came out with back in the fall. Um, the one that was a collab with um, that person who has, like, the beautiful, like, curved nails. Is it Allison? Absin? Something with an A, I think, and a son in the end. I can't remember what their name is. Gonna be, but you know who I'm talking about. I added, like, four maybe five to my cart and the price took me out i had to skip like i i was mad before because first i was mad that it was such a big collection and i couldn't afford everything and if i couldn't afford everything i didn't want anything <laughs> that's what happened and then then i was like no actually i think i will get some then i couldn't find them anywhere to purchase they were just gone from the internet just gone and then I saw that they're now on pre-order at Beautyometry. So I moseyed on over there, added them to my cart, and the price took me out. They were $16 each. And I will, I'm not questioning the pricing. I'm just saying, damn, I wish I had more money. That's really what's good. I wish I had more. <laughs> I was like, damn. This is so pretty, though. <sighs> so, yeah, somebody buy, somebody buy some more of those Phoenix polishes on pre-order from Beautyometry and then take pictures and send them to me so I could just think about how I could have. Because, yeah, like, my issue with the collection is they had so... Not only were the polishes amazing, I love the theme! The theme got me! And, like, I can't, I can't get all of them. I can't get... Like, is this too... It's just too big. So then I only wanted the one with the characters that I liked. And then I was like, no, I want all the Twilight ones, all the True Blood ones. And it was, like, way too expensive still. So I was like, okay, just the characters that, like, I love, love. And then the Damon one is sold out. And I don't have any Damon nail polishes. I need one with Damon. But, like, ugh. Yeah, there's $16 in Beautyometry. And it was just... It was expensive. It was expensive. Um, I was going to do many similar ones. This looks like... Ooh, it is kind of similar. You're right. I didn't realize how similar it would be to I like it when the red water comes out. And I do have that one. So yeah, I guess I can feel better skipping this then. Thank you for reminding me that one exists. Ooh, swamp color from Phoenix. Yeah, it's just so... I'm going to have to wear that, the sweet and sour one again because like so pretty. Oh, I'm really just... <laughs> I'm just so sad. I really wanted the Phoenix, but like it was just way too much. Like 16 bucks for 11 ml. Like I just could not. I could not get all the ones that I wanted. So I'm just, I'm still have to go with, you know, I can't get the ones that I want. So I'm going to have to pass. But yeah, somebody else needs to buy it and tell me how beautiful it is and send me pictures. And oh, that's cute. No, no stamping, no stamping plates for Nicole. We're not doing it. We're not doing it. Me when I want to buy a Cirque collection. <laughs> Dude, Cirque, um, all, I, 99% of my Cirque collection, not counting, like, what's PR and whatnot, 99% I got, like, on sale. I just placed an order, um, earlier this past week, and I think ev nearly everything that I got was in, like, the clearance section, and then I got, like, two things, I think, that weren't on clearance, and then I used coup a coupon code <laughs> on top of that. Like, I love Cirque, but yeah, they're expensive. I, I grab them on sale. It's, it's not always. Sometimes what I will also do is if I get a whole bunch of things that are on sale, I'll just do like a treat yourself moment to get something that's not on sale, which is what I did for these. But like the one Cirque collection that I will always, 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 always buy and not wait for the sale is always the vice release every single time because every single time that i had waited for it to go on sale i would either miss one and i did my thing where like if i can't get it all i don't want any <laughs> which i recognize is a terrible way of thinking or um it was just like a bad i remember one year i missed like every single restock and i got it all the way at the end but yeah, Cirque, Cirque is, it's more expensive. Like, yeah, I get those on sale for sure because they are, they're expensive. The bottles are a little bit smaller. Love them. 
But I do recognize they are expensive. I think pretty much all of the, um, the bigger indies that are a bit more expensive in the boutique brands, I feel like for my own personal purchases that aren't buying for, like, reviews and whatnot, I, I do the sale because they are expensive. Wait a minute. Did that cat leave? Stor You're supposed to be moderate. <sighs> Damn cat left. <laughs> she left me. It looks like Fluffernutter's on the floor and thinking about jumping up, so maybe he'll be a moderator. Um, Mooncat Garden of Evil looks very similar. Oh, I forgot about that. You're right. The Mooncat is similar. Ooh, that is true, Michelle. Cirque does have points. Uh, fun fact, actually. I'll have a Cirque Colors video coming up this week. And I completely forgot that Cirque Colors has a really good reward. I don't think they always had a reward system because I think I've been... I was buying from their website for years. And then I think the past probably, like, two years, I've been almost exclusively buying them from Beyond Polish. Except for this past order. And so I think, I think when they changed their system around like a year, year and a half, somewhere around there, I think that's when this reward system kicked in, I think. Because I remember that we had to redo our account on, on for the new website. But yeah, the I was looking over the reward system, and yeah, their reward system is really, really good. Really, really good. So yeah, I <laughs> I think from now on, when I'm buying Cirque, I think I'm going to use the rewards program on their website versus getting them from Beyond Polish. I think that's what I might do. Because usually Beyond, Beyond Polish has a lot of sales, so I get a lot of stuff over there as well. But yes, Michelle is correct. Um, morals have gone down the shoot, cat poop shoot. <laughs> Why are we talking about the dookies? Cirque has a great sale in July, and then they overpoured sale. Yeah, that's true too. Cirque also, they when they put stuff on sale, like, it's good. I think the only things that I, like I said, that what I would jump on always is the Vice, because sometimes by the time the sale comes around, not all of them are still in stock. I think last year, though, they had a lot of stock left over of the Vice collection, but, like, I feel like in years past, it wasn't always that way. Do you end up with dupes? Um... What's that in reference to, Stacy? <laughs> what are you talking about poop shoots? Um, sometimes I buy Cirque from Sleek Nail. Ooh, I've never ordered from Sleek Nail before. <laughs> oh no, it's newer. I forgot Cirque had a rewards and one day last month they sent me an email running that I have got forty dollars off and went feral. See that? I love that. <laughs> Michelle, I hear moderating Nicole more than the chat. <laughs> Seriously, Michelle's being mean to me. Mean to me. Okay, another Baldur's Gate. A light gray curly base, pink retro shimmer, silver hollow microblades, black and red micro glitter. Okie dokie. I feel like I have something similar to this. I feel like gray crowleys are one of those things that, like, at one point in my life, I was just like, buy it, buy it, buy it. Like, once I found out that I love gray nail polish, I kind of went ham on it. <laughs> I love you too, Michelle. <laughs> oh, do you end up with dupes from the Vice Collections? Um, now I do, yes. In the past, whenever they would re-release, I just wouldn't buy the new one. Um, but I think I have... I do from, I think it was last year. I know I have two bottles of Hedonist. I know that. Um, but, but that's also because, uh, the last time they re-released Hedonist, I had bought that to review, and I had one in years past, so I wanted, like, the new one to share and compare, because my old one, one, it had faded, two, it had the old brush, so yeah, I, when I got them to review, then yes, I ended up with duplicates, but when I was just buying them before, no, I didn't, I wouldn't buy the same one twice, because it honestly doesn't make a lot of sense, ooh, Animal Crossing, it honestly does not make a lot of sense to buy backups of neons. I've done it before. I don't recommend it because <laughs> neons pretty much all fade. Like, it's very unlikely for a neon not to fade at some point. So buying backups of neons isn't always the smartest thing ever. 
Um, although I do have some, I do have a couple of neon Krellies that I bought backups of because I love the glitter mix in them. And even if they faded, I'd be fine with it. But like every year, Cir 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 I'm, I'm circling back to Cirque now. But Cirque, they all, I feel like they only started doing a lot of the re-releases in the past couple of years. I feel like in years past, they didn't re-release things nearly as much as they have been. I feel like, I think last year they did re-release, and then I think the year before that they had some re-releases. Like, I know Cushy has come out a couple of times already, and, and Hedonist has come out a couple of times, and I think Socialite has come out a couple of times. I just got a few Cirque from Sleek along with Kate for sure and Mint. Oh, okay. Um, I didn't think about the fading, but I'm aware they rotate the- Okay. Looks like the Rogue offering from HHC. Ooh, oh, you're right. Electric Daisy has come back a couple of times, too. I think I have that one. This- Okay. Current problem. Do I like this because it's Animal Crossing? Or do I like it <laughs> because it's pretty? <sighs> I don't know. I like it a lot. I feel like it's a little, a little dark for me. But, like, those flakies... Those flakies. I think I, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna give it a pass. I think I'm gonna give it a pass because like I like it. Oh my god, look! At, I love this person's macro shots. Like, damn, 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 damn. No, I don't want this. What's the wait? What's the other Animal Crossing? Did I see that already? Because <laughs> I don't remember it. I do not remember it. I might repurchase Pyro if they bring it back again. Okay. My thoughts exactly re Animal Crossing. <laughs> Ooh, someone did a maple. Maple was so cute. Okay, we have Psyche Minerals. I can't remember how to pronounce it, so I'm not gonna try. <sighs> I like this a lot. I like this a lot. It's really, really pretty. And I feel like this isn't a color that I would normally buy, so that means maybe in theory I don't have anything too similar already. But like, I like this a lot. I really, really like this a lot. There's a maple one. Um, Nowsum, do you know which brand it is? Oh, Mabel is glistening. I don't, I don't buy their stuff, so that's out, unfortunately. I like this a lot. I'm going to add it to the wish list. Add it to the wish list. Red-Eyed Lacquer, Magic Minos. Tetris. Okay, we got Purple Jelly with Flakies. Oh, I'm sorry, Deep Indigo. Oh, I like this, but I feel like chances are incredibly high that I have similar things already. Oh, that macro. Oh, that macro, the match shot. That's pretty. That is pretty. Uh, but I'm gonna skip. Okay, Rogue, Dreamlight, mm, Spire. Oh, so this is a Disney Dreamlight, I think. Okay. This looks like a massive stainer if you have um, any kind of overlay or extension nails on. That looks like a massive stainer. But I'm gonna skip. Gonna skip. Seaside Kingdom Mario Odyssey. That was a fun game. Not really. This is not a color for me, though. Sassy Sauce, a glitz in the Matrix. Star Wars Galaxy game? I don't think I've ever played a Star Wars game before. Tetris is fun. Should I see Linry? Oh, Linry says there is a color code that matches Pyro that doesn't fade. I'm not sure the name. Oh. Yeah, I remember her mentioning that in one of the lives. Okay, I'm gonna skip because it's not speaking to me. This is one I wish so much that it was just this, um, is this the cold star? Oh, it's a solar. Oh. I don't know why, but I feel like solars last a little bit longer than thermals do. Like, I feel like I have therm- I think my oldest thermal I bought in 2019. And last time I looked at it, it was still, and I like flashed the light on it, it was still going strong. I like this a lot, but actually, 
I know I have a solar from Heather's Hues that goes from yellow to like a pinky purple in the sun. I know that. But it doesn't have glitter in it. Hmm. I feel like I'm gonna add it. I feel like I'm gonna add it. Because, like, I like this. And I have no idea what Lenny and Arthur is. Sweet and Sour Lacquer is one. Okay, I'm gonna skip those. Oh, I am stupid. I had thought because there were shirts here that these were shirts. I was like, oh, I don't need a shirt. Skip. But then I was like, wait, why is it the same shirt? No, it's a placeholder. Okay, I guess we'll have to look at that some other time. Okay. Ooh, we're all we're at the end. Okay then. The sweet and sour lacquer is one. I feel like this was originally on my list of things that I was thinking that I was going to get. Never tried a solar. I love solars. They're really fun. And and I say that as someone who doesn't go outside very often. Like my my daily jaunts outside is usually like my walk to the mailbox. And then if I'm playing with Tassie in the yard or something, like, that's generally when I go outside. But, man, I love solars. I think they're fun. This is just the yellow. Have to wait to look at the shirts until you need a shirt. <laughs> yeah, I, I really like this a lot. I feel... I feel like... Ooh. I like that shot. I feel like chances are probably pretty good. I have similar things already, but I don't care. So add to wish list. <laughs> I don't care right now. <laughs> Pass me the joystick. Uh, inspired by playing PlayStation with my baby. A beige Crowley with green blue shimmer. Okay. Yeah, I feel like I have enough green blue shimmers. And I know I always say that and then I get a green blue shimmer on my nail and I was like, oh, never mind. <laughs> I like them again, but currently right now, I, I'm over it right now until I get another one on my hands. Um, love the flakies, but summer is coming, so you'll need to see the change. Past the duchy was the original show. Oh, it was? But yeah, I feel like I, I, I'm down with the solars. A tan leaning taupe with strong blue aqua indigo sh shimmer. Sorry. Crack in my back. Nah. This isn't jumping out at me. This zombie claw is one that I was planning on adding to the wish list, and it's largely the star glitters. This, but you know what? Now that I'm thinking on it, I feel like this is. Hold on, hold on. What was the name of the KB Shimmer? Um, KB Shimmer Starfish. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Hold on, we gotta do a little side by side. Cause I just bought this KB Shimmer one and I just wanna make sure that the shimmer is not. And I know the glitters in these aren't the same, I'm aware, but like it's what I was thinking of as far as like shimmer and star shaped things. Come on, pop that up. Okay. No, I don't think they're that similar. No, and no, what do you all think? Don't you have the wet and wild star glitter polish? Wet and no. I don't think I own any wet and wild nail polishes anymore. No, I feel like they're one. The the star glitters are in fact different. These are starfish, and these are just regular stars. But I feel like can I get another picture going? I feel like the yeah, it's different enough. Yeah, it's different enough. Let's see, yeah, green to purple shimmer. And this looks like it's, is it green to blue or just green? Yeah, green to blue. I'd say it's different enough to get me to justify it. Which is really funny because, like, I have not had a lot of glitter shimmer polish toppers. No, I don't. I do not have Wet n Wild. Wet n Wild by Fergie? What? What? Like Fergie, like my my lovely lady lumps Fergie. Wild Fergie. Well, shoot. 
Fergalicious had nail polish? I had no idea. I had no idea that Fergalicious had nail polish. Where is it? I had no idea. Learn something new every day, I suppose. Yeah, I don't have it. I did not buy Wet n Wild. Alright, let's see. The damage. Oh, shit. I added a lot. That was a lot more than I thought. You have the glitters. Put the topper over. No, no, no. I mean, yeah, I do own an obscene amount of glitter toppers that have stars. And yeah, I probably could. Let me look at it some more. Yeah, I probably could pair one of my many glitter toppers with just a shimmer topper. And yeah, it's probably the same. Damn it, Michelle, why'd you put that in my head? <gasps> as much as I'd love to join you while I drive in friends house right. bye Stacy thank you for coming I don't know Michelle I don't know am I gonna do it though am I really like I know I said a little while ago that I was gonna be like layering girl but like am I <laughs> am I gonna do it I mean, I've kind of done it recently by adding reflective glitter to everything. I don't know. I don't know. Mama Goonie says I gotta get it. Although she has... You have been saying I need to get everything this whole, this whole stream. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, let's try to whittle this down. Whittle it down. Um... Three is the goal. I think... I'm trying to think of what I think. My gut is saying take off the Music City Beauty because it's flakies and not glitter. Like, I feel like I'm I'm glitter. Okay. Mama Goonie says I should just do four. <laughs> Damn it, Michelle! No. Oh, okay. For, I'm going to do the music because it's not glitter and I feel like I want glitter right now. So that one's gone. Next. Um... KB Shimmer is definitely staying. Um, let me look at the cameo again. <laughs> let me look at this one more time. Um, no, oh, it's black to red. I do love me a black to red anything. And it's gold. Damn it. Oh, now Zim, the music looked like the one on your blog. You're right. It, it, that is kind of similar to the night. Owl. Thank you. That is smart. Good thinking. Good thing. That is kind of similar to the, the night owl lacquer. Okay. So, okay. So I think I'm going to take cameo out. Cameo's coming out. Okay. Next. Oh, shit. I hate doing this. Um, let me, let me just look at the GR one. I think... I think I'm going to take the G... No. No. I think... Where's my calculator? <laughs> Let me see how expensive all of this would be. Because <laughs> I'm struggling. Okay. Let's see. One, two, three. Thirteen times three. Plus twelve. Plus... <laughs> Uh, we got a 1350. Oh no, sh monkeys. 1350. Wait, one, two, three. There's four. How many of these did I do already? Okay, that's close enough, and that's a lot. <laughs> Game on stays for sure. I don't know. I feel like I'm doing that thing where I'm prioritizing brands that I already love. And pushing out brands that I, I don't have as strong of feelings for. And in that case, like, Dior would get the boot because I've never bought from them before. And, like, all of these brands here are brands that either I've bought before and really enjoy. Yeah, everyone here said that I've bought before and enjoyed the things. Okay. Brian says get rid of the night. So, yeah, we'll get rid of the night. Just because, like, 
Chance is probably good that I have something kind of similar. Okay. <laughs> laughing at you, Mama Cootie. <laughs> okay, fine, fine. <laughs> okay. Now let's look at it as like a scale of uniqueness. I feel like as far as uniqueness goes, Gior's definitely like unique to me. I feel like I do not see that many magnetics and glitters. So maybe Gior stays and KB Shimmer stays. And that leaves us with, I'm just gonna call it the Polish for Days the Animal Crossing. <laughs> Because that's for being honest with ourselves. Um, I feel so that's three. Maybe I. I'm gonna take out the swamp gloss because I'm currently telling myself I could just put on my Heather's Hues that has that same kind of solar and just throw a topper on top. And okay, so we'll take that out. Okay. <laughs> Down to five. You mentioned similar things. No, KB Shimmer has to stay because it's Princess Peach. We're getting it because of the, we're getting it because it's pink, and we're getting it because it's Princess Peach. We're we're pretending that I don't have anything like it already. We're getting it because it's Princess Peach. I'm getting it. That's that. That's final. That's that. That is that. It's not coming out. Okay. But this is Animal Crossing. Okay, I I think I'm going to take out the sweet and sour lacquer because I feel like as far as like looking at all these, what I'm most excited to get on my hands, that's like not, it's not like probably find something kind of similar. I think I'm going to take out the sweet and sour lacquer, sadly, and hope that I can get it as a mystery listing on their website at a later date. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Okay, down to five. Michelle's voice is in my head and Michelle's just like you can you can dupe it you can dupe it and I feel like Michelle is probably right with the zombie like I I know I have an obscene amount of glitter toppers and I really could just layer them with a shimmer if we're really being honest okay <sighs> okay no I don't I don't want to drop the polish for days because it's animal crossing <laughs> Let me have Animal Crossing, damn it. Let me have Animal I think I'm going to do four instead of three. I think I'll do four instead of three because, like, I... But you know what? Now, like, am I only excited for the Psyche Minerals because, like, I'm thinking about how I missed the pink one, so I'll get this one as, like, a Constellation prize? Is that, like, what my... Is that where my mind is going? I don't think it is, but like the thought, the thought was there, so there must be something to that, right? <sighs> you know what? I think I'm gonna keep going with my. I just bought something, like I just bought a reflective glitter topper, and I probably for sure have teal bases with green, blue to violet shimmer that I could throw a topper on top of. So I think I might take that one out. Um, okay. And we are at three. Two for the theme and one because of uniqueness. <laughs> A. Hi, everyone. Yes, we can see your message, A. There is a KB Shimmer that looks similar to that one. Oh, which one? <laughs> okay, um... Psyche Minerals is the most gorgeous shade of green. It tempts me. It is pretty. I will give them that. Okay. Um, Polish for days. Okay, I think this is my final three. I think this is my final three. Polish for days because it's Animal Crossing. <laughs> Listen, isn't Polish for days the one that made Animalese? Animalese was one of my favorite. It's probably one of my favorite polishes from them, and it's also Animal Crossing. I feel like this has to go with Animal Lays because my heart says so. KB Shimmer because Princess Peach and it's pink and we're pretending that it is very incredibly unique to my collection. And then Dior because it's actually, this is what we're going with. This is what we're going with. Yeah, this is, okay. I did it. I did it. Okay. Okay. It really does work like the topper dulls the cup. What was that? It really does not work. 
I don't know. I don't find toppers dull the color, though. I mean, I guess it also depends on the color, and I haven't gotten these yet to see. Like, based on the photos on the website, they did look very... Bring back the green. No, I mean... Hold on, let's, let's we can go look at it again. Hold on. Oh, no, P, N, um... Okay. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It is pretty, though. No. Okay, maybe I will do four. I will. Maybe I will do four. Okay, yeah, four. We're going to do four. Because I had said that I would do three polishes and one non-nail polish item. And I did not see diddly squat for non-nail polish items. Like, I thought I had it on shop all. Uh, Let's see. Hand and nail. I did not see anything. I think I didn't click on anything because I didn't need any of these things. Yeah, I didn't need any of these things. Um, and then misc. And these wild animals of mine don't need more cat toys. Okay. Yeah, sorry. I'm just like, you're verifying that there was no non-nail polish stuff that I wanted. Sorry. <laughs> I'm verifying because like I think I yeah I think we're good okay so yeah that's it that is it the deed is done no going back winning the link but no I don't I don't I don't need a bag like I don't I don't I don't like I just started like when I leave the house I don't um I started not carrying a purse because like I just keep everything that I need in either in pockets or in the car so I gotta stop carrying a purse everywhere. And yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's, I think that's, that's the final one. That's it. So I'm getting four. Also, let me screenshot that. Okay, there we go. I got a screenshot. Just so I can remember, so I can log in on my actual purchasing account. So that way I can remember what I had chose on. Also, let's switch. Did it switch? Hold on, I think it switched. It looks like it switched. Yes, it switched. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I my stream deck started working again, so I'm using it again. Hi, Bonnie. Happy Easter. <laughs> Sorry. The deed is done. No going back. Oh, my God. But, yeah. What everyone else did? Anyone else was doing wishlisting? Like, what are you getting? Opinion on a magnetic top coat. Does it really work? Um... I have it. It does, in fact, work how I usually use it. I use it sometimes when I'm swatching if, um, if, like, I got distracted and forgot to magnetize or I didn't realize something was magnet, what I will do is, like, I'll wet the nail with that top coat and then magnetize that instead of doing, like, another coat on top because, like, I don't need four coats of things. So it, it does, in fact, work. You still have to add, like, your normal sealing top coat on top of it. But it does work well for magnet. I think for me, because usually I only magnetize the final coat, I don't really, I don't really see a difference in using that to magnetize versus just doing my final coat. But like, it, it does work. It re-wets it and you can magnetize it. Um, the Sweetheart Polish is, was that on the website? I didn't, I thought they had like a little shirt for the Sweetheart Polish. Was that there? Hold on. Let me go back. Let me go back. Oh no, it's not on the website yet. But it's inspired by Joy from the Disney Infinity. Ooh, it's a yellow curly base with gorgeous blue shimmer. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to remember to look that up. Cause I feel like I do not have a lot of yellow curlies at all. <laughs> Which is a shame cause I love yellow. Um, Amaya Cosmic was a must for me and nothing else. That one didn't wow me. I had so many potentials, but now I have three left to see if dupes are similar. I am hoping to skip this month. Wish me luck. Top of my list is the Valley Girl Polish based on Stardew. I saw it. Oh, Cosmic saying, oh, okay. I don't remember seeing it when I was on her blog post, but I didn't watch her video. I usually, I usually do her blog post and not the videos though. Oh my gosh. Oh, wow. Thirsty. What did I say we were doing for after party? I forgot what I said I was going to talk about. Oh man, my back. Oh, my back is bothering me. I can't believe that damn cat left. 
She was supposed to be moderating. She had her spot and she left. Oh, look at that. It's crinkle paper. Who sent me crinkle paper? Smut. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I remember we were talking about books, but I don't remember what specifically. I don't remember what we were specifically talking about, about the books. Like, I remember we were, I was saying I wish it, the Queen of Rot was the book and not, but it wasn't it. But I don't remember specifically what it was. I do not remember. Ooh, but I do have a little announcement. Uh, this week's video posting is not going to be my normal Tuesday, Saturday. Everything that I wanted to post this week, I have embargo dates where I'm not allowed to post anything until that specific date. And unfortunately, both things are for the end of the week. <laughs> I wasn't realizing it when I decided that those were going to be like first week of April. I didn't realize that they were both at the end of the week and one wasn't at the beginning. So for this week, um, Tuesday, I'll have probably one or two shorts, maybe more coming up for like the early part of the week. And then for later in the week, we'll have one video by a brand that I haven't done a video for in almost a year. And then we'll have Bee's Knees on, either I'm posting it on Friday or Saturday. I haven't yet decided yet. We're not allowed to post until Friday, but uh, I haven't decided yet if I'm going to post it on the Friday or the Saturday. It just depends on when I finish the video, I guess. Oh, series. Yes, yes. So yeah, Dust Walker Brides is my favorite monster romance series without a doubt. I just finished the newest book in the, in, in the series. Oh my god. Embargo. Oh, oh man. It's it is not boy. No, a lot of brands do it. A lot of brands have embargo dates. A lot of them do it. Also, you remember I talked about this before. This mark here on my forehead. Thank you, by the way, for no one mentioning what the hell's going on on my forehead right here. I finally figured out what happened here. I got a new um, head tie to wear at night, like a while back, and I I remember one. It's you know how like heads are, they're tight at first. And I think this one I had pulled down lower than I normally do. And I remember waking up a few weeks ago with like a pain on my forehead from like the seam line in this thing. And I think that's what these are on my forehead. I think like the seams like caused <laughs> like scarring. I don't know. It caused like, here it is. It caused something. <laughs> so I have this on my forehead now. Put up the alert. Oh, hold on. Where is it? Whoop. There we go. <laughs> Um, time for Timmy's to leave. If you've got the little niblets and Timmy's, time for them to dip out because it's the after party, folks. It is the after party. It might get spicy. And yeah. Um, I didn't, I've been buying this thing from them for like years and it always is like tight when you first get it. I've, this has never happened before, but like, I, I think this is it. Cause like, I remember it being towards the center of my forehead. But man, <laughs> this is what happened. And like I was looking at the seam and the seam is like about this size. Like one of these is about the seam. So like I'm assuming that's what this is, which I feel like is kind of wild. Call me Timmy the way I'm out. You are not. <laughs> you are not, Brian. Um, no, like it's loosened up now when it's fine and, and it doesn't feel tight but like I find when I buy these they're always very tight initially I don't know if they just make it tight or I have a big head I don't know what it is but like they're always tight when you first get them but actually just because I'm not feeling oh feel better Brian <laughs> sorry I thought you were just being silly feel better I hope you feel better because yeah yesterday I I was not feeling good either but yeah I left a mark on my forehead <laughs> also now that like the it's big. Here's my nails. And again, it's the uh, moon cat. It's portrait of an introvert. This is in two coats. I don't, I very rarely do three coats of anything on my right, on my right hand just because like I don't like waiting that long. But yeah, here it is. It's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. And also I, I bought this. This wasn't PR. I bought it. <laughs> I had one of those times where when something's limited edition, I have to decide is Bonnie leaving? Oh, thank you for coming, Bonnie. I'm the most naive grandma you could imagine in this day and age. <laughs> Have a good Easter, Bonnie. 
Um, but yeah, I very rarely do three coats of anything on this hand just because like I don't like to do that And so it's pretty it's really pretty and oh, I, I cut myself So yeah, I couldn't decide if I wanted it because it was limited edition or because like I wanted it because like I was going to enjoy it And I came to the conclusion that I wanted it because I would enjoy it and yeah, it's pretty It is pretty also. I did not realize that my pointer finger nail and my middle finger nail are so different oh, different in size like it's <laughs> the nail bed is significantly shorter on pointer finger and I didn't even know <laughs> be mindful sheer polishes are lurking everywhere <laughs> yeah that is true the sheer I tried cupcake blurring base today and absolutely do not like it I had to is that the white one I, they sent me that one in PR years ago. I remember it not being, um, perfectly, like, even in, like, appearance. I feel like that's how I remember that one, at least. Are all the books for bees and knees extremely dark? I'm having a hard time. Um, from what I know, Amanda, I think some of them are. From what I, I haven't read any of them for comp, but I've seen people talk about them and it seems that they vary between having like some darker vibes, some like adult-ish, what's the word, adult-ish, um, themes. And I know they, I know they've done some that were YA, but I think some of them have some things in them. I, blo I love blues, the name, and the cost of game. The moon cat was a no-brainer. Yeah, I do love blues, too. And it's so pretty. I've been really enjoying this on my hand. And also, on my swatch hand, I finally put on the Vanessa Molina Dangerously Beautiful from PPU a few months ago. Uh, hold on. Where's the center? Camera! Chop, chop! Hold on, let me wake this thing up so I can tap it up. There we go. It's pretty. It's really pretty. I'm very happy with it. It's- I was honestly kind of concerned. I just felt like something touched my leg. I was a little concerned that it wasn't going to be as pretty as the swatch photos, but yeah, it's gorgeous. It's gorgeous. I'm adding the cameo to my wish list. When you get it, <laughs> take pictures and tell me I was wrong for skipping it. <laughs> It's pink, but made my pink polish orange. Oh, yeah, I feel. Oh, oh, you've got the flesh. Wait, no, Michelle said the flesh colored one. Oh man, I have the blurring base coat from several brands. I like the. Po I. I am not the biggest fan of the blurring bases, honestly. I I know for sure I don't like the fleshy toned ones. I have the fleshy toned one from Polish for Days, and I didn't like how it changes the color of what you put on top of it. Thus far, the only ones that I have tried that I have liked, I've tried, I, I feel like I'm going to sound very biased, because like I just I don't like them. I, I've tried uh, the Sweet and Sour Lacquer ones, they, um, they had sent me those in PR to swatch for the website. And I played around with those, and I like those because they're different colors. And I feel like when you have the different colors, you can more try to closely match the base of what you have. When I tried, like, the fleshy toned one from Polish for Days, it completely changed the color of what I put on top of it, and I didn't like that. It was just... I didn't, I didn't like... I, I don't want to change the color that much. Um, I can't remember what I did with the cupcake one they sent me in PR a few years ago. I can't remember if I've used it. I cannot remember. I just remember swatching it, but I can't remember if I used it for anything in particular. I feel like I did, but I can't remember what it was. The cupcake was sink turned my pink orange. Still loving the bees needs to... <gasps> I wish I had gotten one of those big ones. I wish I had gotten one of the big ones. Um... But yeah, I, I've noticed the Polish for Days ones are very popular in the nail polish crowd. I haven't, haven't tried it yet. Oh, okay. The best thing to do is find a nude that matches your skin tone and use it. I like the nourishing nude from Orly that is breathable and is a good... Okay. I... See? I don't know. I... I'm trying to think if I've tried, like, a nude one. 
But yeah, I, for my own personal wear, I just, I'll just wear the, I, I don't do the blurring bases. I have, um, one of the sweet and sour lacquer ones. It's not, it's more like a pinky, like a, a for me, like a nail bed color. Like it's a little pinky, but it's more rosy than my nail beds actually are. I wore that like just as a manicure and I thought it was pretty. Hey, Bonkette. Finish cleaning up from hosting brunch. Ooh, brunch. You know what? We're not really doing much for Easter. Oh, sh I did this to remind me. I was supposed to make dinner. <laughs> Oops. Oopsie boopsie. Um, but yeah, I, I, I think maybe blurring bases just aren't for me. But I think I, thus far, I've worn the sweet and sour lacquer ones, like, as bases. And I like them, but I haven't played around them with, like, a sheer polish and put on top. Maybe I should try that out. Because, yeah, I, I did the pink one. I've worn the pink one, like, as a manicure and thought it was really pretty. I used the purple in the OPI spring review. What else? Uh, I know I used the blue for something. What did I do with it? I used the blue one for something. But, yeah, I don't know. I just think I'm not, like, a blurring base kind of guy. You haven't eaten? Michelle, it's 530 in the evening. Chop, 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 chop. You need to eat something. I just ordered some of the Phoenix series last night from Bidiometry the other night. Can't, oh, I was, <laughs> I was about to ask you which ones you ordered. You like, can't remember what I ordered. Oh, my God. <sighs> Those are so damn pretty. I'm just going to have to, like, hunt D-stashes and hope that I can find the ones that I want. But, yeah, those are really pretty. But I'm just having a hard time getting past the $16 for, it's like 11 amount. I'm just struggling with that one. Ooh, I was looking at the Night Owl Lacquer Milky Shears. I was looking at those because I was trying to decide if I wanted the white one to use as something to layer as like a really sheer crelly. Because I have the Sweet and Sour Lacquer one. Technically, it's a base coat, but you can layer it. And I was thinking of using that as like my Crelly base for layering. Then I was like, maybe I should get the Night Owl Lacquer because it looks a lot more sheer. I don't know. I was watching the Polished Mages video on that and I was very tempted to pick some of them up. Very, very tempted. I bought the Cupcake Blurring Base Coat one from PPU in March and have used it once. I feel like it changed the color polish I put. What color is the one? What color is the one that you have, Bonkette? I figured I could use them for nail art. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> it is no Timmy time because I'm in a car. Um, it's it was for a moment, but I think I I think the topic of the spicy books has ended. I'll just pop it off again. Oh wait, I forgot I have it on. Oh, never, sorry, <laughs> I forgot that I put it on the stream deck, so I could just tap that instead of messing with my settings. Uh, no, we're currently talking blurring bases, though, Ashley. That's why I only ordered it when I was half asleep. Super expensive. Ooh. Oh, I forgot. Oh, then, yeah, that's one thing I really, other than, like, the formulations, I really appreciate that the Night Owl Lacquer Creams are not, like, $12, $13 like some other brands do. I really like uh, that they're a little bit more... And I mean, because I, I know a lot of people are kind of against buying creams from Indies because they're more expensive than drugstore, but I feel like I like the formula. They tend to be a bit more um, opaque and buttery smooth, although not always, because I feel like Essie's creams have gotten really good, and those are tend to be very buttery smooth application. Hi, Des. Uh, we did PPU wish listing, so you missed all of that. <laughs> yeah. It's after party currently, so we're just chit-chatting. But yeah, currently talking creams. I think out of the indie brands, Night Owl Lacquer makes my favorite creams. Sweet and Sour Lacquer makes, like, my favorite, like, she calls them creamlies. It's not quite a cream, but not a crelly either. It's right in the middle. And there's just something, like, juicy. <laughs> there's just something about, like, they have, like, this squishy vibe to them that I really like. I really like the Heather's Hughes creams as well, but she did, she hasn't released a lot of them, and I don't think she's going to ever release any more based on, like, a card I had with her years ago. I don't think she's going to release any more creams, but her creams are really good, too. And then um, Hollow Taco makes my favorite of the boutique creams, although after just swatching the starly ones that were creams, 
I feel like I should reassess <laughs> Starly Creams because those are my... I, no, I tried their neon creams last year that they had sent, and those were also nice, too. But I just, I honestly forget that they have creams. I honestly forget. Ooh, Linby, I have never tried one of the Linby creams. However, I am, whenever they restock those crackles, I'm placing a damn order. I'm getting me the crackles from Linby. I got so many creams from Color Club, hope they... I don't know what's going on with Color Club, Ash. Like, they... I know they have an Easter sale going on currently. I saw I saw an ad for that. But like I don't know. Like I feel like they've just gotten very weird after this past fall. They haven't released anything. And like they used to release so much and now it's just like crickets with them. Also, I just realized I don't have to look over here to read the chat anymore. So let me try to find where I put the chat on this computer. What did I do with it? I don't know what I did with it. <laughs> it's gone. I'll keep looking over here then. I got Edward, Bill, and Bella. <gasps> I was looking at Edward. I considered Bella, but I felt like I probably had something similar. Bill looked unique. Um, PPU shop opens for ordering at 11 a.m. Eastern time on Friday. Erica. I was just like, no, I'm like, I'm like, I know your name. You just told me your name, Erica. Erica, it opens 11 a.m. Eastern time this Friday, and then it closes Monday at 11.59 p.m. Essie is nearly as expensive. That's true. Essie is, I did not realize Essie was actually kind of spendy for, like, MLs to dollars, because they're $10 for, um, is it 11? Is it 11? No. I think their regular bottle is 13.5 and they're $10 each. And then the Expressies are, I think the Expressies are 10. What did I say they were again? The Expressies, the Expressies are smaller and they're the same price as the regular and you get less MLs. But yeah, I really have started, I really, since I started swatching Essie stuff, I really have fallen in love with the products from them, but like, I don't understand why Expressy is so expensive. I don't get it. But yeah, that is true. Essie is more expensive than Night Owl Lacquer, which is kind of wild. I think the, I think one thing that Essie has going for them that Night Lacquer doesn't is you can just like walk into a store and get Essie. But around where I live, I never see new collections. It's very rare for me to see Essie's new collections. Sometimes I might come across them at Walgreens or, um, what was it, CVS maybe? Sometimes, but not always. Color Club has $2.50 mystery. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, that lumen is way sheer. That's what they do. That is what they do. I catch Essie on Same. Well, I mean, no, because I buy Essie to review, so I don't always get them on sale. But when I do get them on sale, I get them on sale, too. Because, yeah, that's one positive about drugstore stuff is that, yeah, the sales are good. I just wish all the places that I get, like, China Glaze and OPI and Orly at, like, discounted prices, I wish they sold Essie's. Like, Beyond Polish, they don't seem to stock Essie super well. Like, it seems like they, they come around eventually and they're priced a little bit better than Ulta. But, I mean, yeah, they're a little bit better. They're priced better than Ulta. But they're not, like, how I can get China Glaze for, like, $3 better. Because they add more chemicals in, the more ingredients equals higher prices. I mean, I guess. I guess. Um, the Phoenix I was looking at, I was largely looking at the Vampire Diary ones, the Twilight ones, and the True Blood ones. Um, I know I wanted Damon. I toyed with getting Stefan. I was gonna skip Catherine's. Um... I remember I wanted Bill. I remember I had wanted Eric. I had remembered that I had wanted Damon. And I had wanted Edward. And then there was... I was toying with Blade. Because I thought it was a nice color. And that was largely why. But yeah, there was just so many. And I couldn't decide. 
And then there was, like, one green one in that collection that I don't remember who it was the inspiration was, but I just liked it because it was green. I had ordered from Beautyometry once many, many years ago. I think it was maybe during a Black Friday sale or some kind of sale. Shipping took a little while, but, like, it arrived well. Um, Y'all did zero on my PPU wish list. Now I have to hide from all appreciation posts until I'm safe. Good luck to you. I will try not to tempt you. This is my- okay, read that. First time since July 2023 when my eyes opened to the indie world. Super duper happy for myself. Bravo. Yeah, I- see that I got into Vampire Diaries late, and so I only just watched the whole series last year. That was the first time I watched it last year. Like, it was just- it was just not for me when it first came out. I just- I just was not enjoying it. So last year was my first time and I fell in love. I loved it. I I didn't like the books. I read the first three. I think I read the first three. Maybe the first four books. I had read it in like a big chunk. So I can't remember if it was the first three books or the first four. I The books definitely read as like this is definitely teenager targeted. And I think that's why I kind of struggled with really enjoying it because, like, I couldn't really... It was teenager logic a lot of the time. And as an adult, I just had a harder time, like, going with the teenager logic. I think if I had read the books when they had come out when I was a lot younger, I probably would have really loved the books. And I probably would look at them more like how I look at Twilight. Like, I read Twilight when it came out and I liked it a lot then. But, yeah. I, I don't know. The books weren't good. Um, what's the brand? Um, Phoenix. It's a Brazilian brand. The collection came out back in the fall, but they've got a pre-order up on Beautyometry. It was kind of a struggle. <laughs> um, when it, at least for me, there, it didn't seem like there was a lot of talk happening on when specific dates were going to be going up for the different stockists to have the collection initially. So, like, I I felt the frustration. I saw a lot of other people being like, where the hell can I buy this? When can I buy it? Because at least what I saw, I didn't see any of the stockist pages saying specifically when the pre-order would start. And, like, none of the swatchers that I was seeing were saying when specifically, just saying it'll be available here. And I was very frustrated at that time. So, yeah, Beautyometry has some of the, not, it doesn't have all 22, but it has most of them up for pre-order right now. I don't know how long the pre-order's for. I couldn't find how long the pre-order's for, when it's going to ship, nothing. I couldn't find anything. If anyone else saw when the pre-order, like, when is it going to ship, please let me know, because I'm honestly curious when. The only one I haven't watched is Vampire Diaries. I started watching the originals, which is, like, the, um, spinoff show for it. And while I do love Klaus and Elijah, there's something about the originals that, like, I've been having to push myself to watch and enjoy. Like, I've been on season one for months. Like, I haven't even finished season one. I thought I was a lot further into season one, and I found out the last time I was watching it that I was only halfway through. Like, I don't know why. I, I, I'm hoping it's one of those shows that once you get past season one, like, the pace picks up and things are a little bit better. But, like, I'm really trying really hard to enjoy the originals. I don't think I'm going to watch uh, the spinoff of the spinoff. Oh, I love the Legacies a lot more. See that? And I didn't think I was going to enjoy Legacies because, like, we're back to, you know, teenager logic and teenagers. And I didn't think I was going to enjoy it. Because, like, I... Klaus was, like... Klaus came into Vampire Diaries just when, like, Damon was starting to cool down from his un his most unhinged behavior. And so Klaus came in and he was just like, I'm just gonna kill everybody. <laughs> just do all the most lunatic -y things. And I love that. I loved Klaus. Klaus was us so much and I loved him. And I feel like in the originals, he's got a little bit of his, like, kooky behaviors, but, like, he's tamed down a little bit. I don't like that. You know, you're right, Bill does, it. Bill, the Phoenix Bill, it did remind me of Mahalo, but I don't know. I don't think they're, I don't think they're dupes. I think it's one of those cases where, like, the multi-chrome is so shifty that, like, it just 
reads as the same. Because I have that issue sometimes with, um, is it Phoenix? Is it Phoenix that does all of the, the, mul the, the multi-chrome magnetics? Is that sometimes they have, they have so many of them in the collab boxes and like my brain can't differentiate the differences. So like in my mind, they're all the same. <laughs> no, but tell yourself that so you don't feel bad. <laughs> Has anyone seen a comparison of them? I'm now wondering. Cause like I did also think that maybe it would be kind of similar to, to Mahalo. I'm getting the Kirby polish. It glows orange in the dark. I wonder how well it glows. Because um, that was that brand. I feel like they always do glow in the dark. So I have to imagine they're good. But yeah, glow. In I, I don't dislike glow in the darks. My bigger issue with glow in the darks is I often will forget that it glows in the dark. And so I go to bed and then my hand is glowing and I get very panicky. I got Elijah and Klaus from the D stash. Maybe. 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 Um, maybe I'll get lucky. Maybe I'll get lucky and find them in a D stash because, yeah, the price tag is a little high and there's so many that I want and it just equals to a lot of money. <laughs> no, don't tell me that. You have seven on your wish list. I can't narrow down anymore. Oh, no. You love the Elfos. I don't know which collection that is. Elfos. Is that on Beautyometry? Hold on. Beauty. Does anyone else have a hard time spelling Beautyometry? <laughs> I can't spell it, so I'm just gonna pretend it's not there. <laughs> I was just like, Beauty. I'm like, if I get close enough, my the browser will spell it for me, and it didn't. Excuse me. Damon is just an oxblood red. But yeah, but it's it's Damon. Like I specifically wanted a polish with Damon's name in it. Like that's really all that came down to. I retyped it like four times. <laughs> I feel that. Yeah, I was just like I was really hoping that my browser would you know get it. Is it Bautometry? Is that how you say it? I've been calling it Beautyometry this whole time. Is it really Bautometry? I still can't spell it. It's not. Oh, wait, there it is. I see it in my Bubotometry. Oh, it definitely has <laughs> the letter configuration is indeed different than how I'm pronouncing it. I will, I will say that. I will say that. But, you know, <laughs> it is what it is, okay? Well, this is not... This is not me. Y'all do not expect me to pronounce things correctly anyway. So who, who who's mad? Who's mad that I'm pronouncing it wrong? <laughs> no one. No one. Bow bow botometry. 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 That's really a botometry. Oh man. Girl, it's branding. I bought a $15 polish on Evie because I was obsessed with the inspiration. You know what? Just just on Friday, I was complaining to Jen and Michelle because we were talking about Zoya. And so I was mad because Zoya didn't have a nail polish with Nicole that like Zoya does like women's names. And I'm like, they have all of these like names that are not like your typical names. And Nicole is not like an odd name. I didn't say odd. It's not like a unique name where like it's it's a very very common name i'm like why isn't there a nicole polish i'm just like there is i'm like no there's not and so i look it up and there is one and you know what happened i i think when i first pro i probably looked it up years and years ago and i think what lo probably happened is at that time i did not wear red nail polish so because zoya's nicole is red i'm i feel very confident that in my mind i just pretended it didn't exist because i didn't like the color so i just pretended it didn't exist <laughs> but i bought it because now i like reds and i want to polish up my name because i don't have one i don't have it polished up my name so i bought it <laughs> oh yeah um l's l oh beauty 
Okay, I'm glad it's not just me, AVNYC, because, yeah, I've been pronouncing it as beautyometry for years. I never, like, stopped to look at the actual letters and what it could be, because, like, it looks... Oh, I just realized I had it on top chat. I just... It looks like beautyometry. Beautyometry, that's where we're going with. But, yeah. Oopsie poopsie! Oopsie poopsie! <laughs> Um, Yor says they never did Hillary either. Nicole, <laughs> Nicole disassociated from her name because it was red. Listen, at the time I didn't like red, so I chose to pretend it didn't exist. But yeah, I just. And you know what's extra shocking? Is like, it's spelled my way. It's not spelled with. T I was convinced that, like, if they released a Nicole, it was gonna be like Nicole with an H, Nicole with two L's, or like some spelling of Nicole that's not my spelling of Nicole. And the fact that they spelled it, what I think of as correctly, but it was a red, so I just pretended it wasn't there. Almost sounds like booty me <laughs> Booty. <laughs> booty. Booty me -tree. Oh, man. Don't, no, I need to close this damn window. I'm not, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. I just... I just was saying that I needed to not buy a whole bunch of things, so I bought a whole bunch of stuff this month. I'm I'm leaving there. But guys, I think I'm going to get to skedaddling because I'm hungry. My stomach is starting to hurt because I'm so hungry. We have to get some dinner. So upcoming videos this week, I will have a Cirque Colors review coming up. And then we'll also have some Bees Knees Lacquer. Mich <laughs> Michelle, Ashley... I was just thinking about the D-Stash um, this week. I was taking some more pictures of things. I still need to go back and re-watch the videos on how to add the shipping to the website so that everything is just weighed out. I'm, I'm not doing... I, I won't slash don't want to learn how to do the flat rate. So we're just going to do like the weighted shipping. I need to go back and watch the videos and figure out how to add the weighted shipping to this damn website. So I... Because I think... That's currently what's stopping me from adding more listings because I have to add the weights to the listings. But yes, upcoming videos. We got some Cirque. We've got some Bees Knees. Um, I need to record a... No, I'm not going to say what it is. I'm not going to say what it is. But yeah, there's going to be some non-nail polish shorts incoming because I kind of decided I wanted to start doing some more things like that. Uh, have a wonderful weekend, evening. Happy Easter for folks who celebrate. And I'll see you next week. Bye. Call me Bucky Noob. Lucky that I'm innocent. Uh, if I didn't have no morals, I'd be menacing. Uh, how about Noob rapping conscious, but he ignorant? Uh, how he found the hood, but still gon' go legitimate? Uh, how he fuck a bunch of b but they still respect the women. He's the rolling, it's another. He just got the windows tinted. Homie stab me in the back, and that can never be forgiven. And my pride's been itching, man. I like your superstition. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You can't have my phone number unless we running up the digits. Let me meditate. I just need a couple minutes. Trying to low bump. When I get high, I ain't looking at the clock, still falling like Brian. Yeah, I'm headed to the bus, then I'm falling.